Good morning, good morning, la 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 la. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Joe, we've got dancing, singing Joe with us this morning. How are you, darling? Too bad, you? Yeah, good, thank you. I'm liking the sort of uh, safari esque with a dazzle of perfect interior design. Very on trend. That's Joe, everybody. He is amazing. He's actually from our Sewing Street team, officially, um, and he's come in to save the day. It's not that he wasn't wanted. We want him. Um, and, uh, yeah, and he's joining us for the day today, and he sings with me, so I like it. It's because he's, um, he's not been worn down by it yet, because he's still relatively new to the singing. <laughs> then, in the hot seat, it's Laura. Aww. Yeah. She's controlling it all today. There she is in her anti-young and slim shorts. Uh, and <laughs> when are you in shorts today? I'm sorry, I hadn't noticed, darling, but I love you. There's me Wayne stuff. Look at me little Wayne. And then uh, there's Wayne's legs and then... Handsome Adam, how did you get a little bit of colour on your legs yesterday afternoon? Because uh, yesterday morning they were quite pale. <laughs> Adam, everybody, uh, is directing and holding the fort together. Now, talking about sitting in the hot seat, who saw the rocket launch last night? It happened. They're on their way. They're on their way. They, um, they're not yet on the International Space Station. <sighs> Tell you, can you imagine? Joe... I've been watching loads of Tim Peake interviews and things because our little boy Charlie um, is, wants to be an astronaut, which makes me feel positively nauseous. And so we've been saying, you know, aren't, and he was interviewed, aren't you terrified at that moment that you're being launched? It's like, no, that's what you've planned. That's what you've been waiting for your whole life. It's so exciting. And the G-force going, <laughs> oh, no, no. I'd be horrified at those spacesuits as well. They're questionable, aren't they? Do you remember... Does anybody remember the day when, um, oh, what's he called? What was the fashion designer? Got Jeff Banks changed the brownie uniform in the early 90s. And it was quite a big hoo-ha. I feel like I'm living through that because they've changed the astronaut outfit. Just me then. Marvellous. How are you, though? Are you all going to text in? I want to know how you're feeling, what your name is today. So, um, but without further ado, we have got a special guest with us this morning. I want to know how his trip out near Stratford-upon-Avon yesterday. And he went, yeah, it's something like Head Hampton and uh, Compton Burnley. Yeah, that'll be one. Here he is. It's Mr. Mark Smith. Good morning, Good Charlie. Good morning. And it wasn't Compton. Bleh. You didn't I'm get to Compton Burnley. No, it wasn't. No, it was Compton Wynyats. Oh, I don't know it's, it's, a, it's a little village near Compton Verney that's got a windmill. So that's where we were yesterday. Cute, oh, the most beautiful little village. It's lovely. I'll send you all the details. It's an amazing walk. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Is it bike friendly for children? It's quite a lot of hills. That's Which not child friendly in my no, world, then. No, Freddie would no, just end up no, moaning no. and then we'd end up having to give him a piggyback. <laughs> and... Can I just say, can I just say, you have a look this morning of an incredibly young and incredibly beautiful Catherine Zeta Jones. And I don't know whether it's because of the off the shoulder top. Very darling buds of May, I thought this morning when you opened the show. I am taking that young comment. <laughs> <laughs> Adam just said he thought I was going to break into uh, my mum dance. Lovely. Um, <laughs> um, do you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to hold on to that young word. I'm going to go with the young word. Thanks, okay. all. We are going with um, young. And somebody complimented. What an amazing show we've got ahead of us today. Oh, I, it's... I am so excited. I tell you, I can't wait. I can't wait. I have been badgered, and I mean badgered solidly. We got back yesterday about two o'clock and I was badgered all afternoon and all evening by my dearest mum yesterday. She is desperate, and I mean desperate, for me to get her a strand of the deal of the day today. She's, she's never, ever, ever been so excited about a deal of the day strand. She um, saw photos of the jewellery that I've made today for it. And she, she, she's a massive fan of this particular colour anyway, but she's, she's desperate for me to get a hold of a strand. And I've, and I've tried to explain that it's probably one of the most limited deals of the day of the year so far, but fingers 44. crossed. Yeah. How many? 44. I've only got 44 <sighs> of them. Usually with a the deal of the day, we oh get at Lord. least a couple of hundred. 
We've got 44. Yes. But the thing is, um, so the deal of the day, everyone, it is, oh, yeah. we have got a few different, different designs within the range, but we've got, so we've got the rounds, there's 44 of the rounds, we've got the nuggets, we've got a couple of cabochons and the size of the cabochons, folks, we're talking about Caribbean green amber. Mm -hmm. Oh my word. Done loads of research for you and Wayne and I have been on them. Our suppliers, we've been actually reading our suppliers article on this and oh, it, it, oh. <laughs> so Mark's actually had this shun to work with and he's made the most beautiful jewellery. Mark, do you need it back? Well, I think Victoria wants to keep it afterwards for future projects. Okay. Uh, Floor manager Laura, that's probably a no. <laughs> <laughs> she's literally, since we've had it, she's been swooning. But particularly over the bangle, look at this. I oh, love that bangle. my word, it's just. Oh, what is it, Joe? Oh. It's oh. Oh, um, now, can I also say, I'm loving our designs in today's show, Mark, because this beautiful, intricate wire work that's, even though you use the word intricate, it's not complex, has worked. So it's sort of carried across on the designs with these rounds. And the jewellery that you've made for today, I think it's beautiful. This is so you. Yes, I thought that as well. Yeah, Did you I, manage I to just... feel like you've gone back to your roots? Yes, I have. So it's, it's real old fashion sort of... Um... Rosary Lincoln and wire macrame with shell pearl today. And um, I'm so excited about this, uh, the, these shell pearls, because on Christmas Day, Zena and I launched a few bundles of these ombre shell pearls. And today is the first day we've, able, we've been able to bring them back onto the show again. And these two, these two kits, the colours that are in the kits, have not been on the show before. These are all brand new for the show today. So even more exciting. Brilliant. Really exciting. They are the most extraordinary kits. They are going to fly out. It's Sunday mm -hmm. morning. We've got Mark Smith. We have got bundles galore. We've got the anti tarnish bags, by the way. And I've got a really good, I'm a little bit, since lockdown, I've gone into storage zone. Like, I am obsessed with storage. Even for, I have become um, a uh, sort of a, a member, so to speak, of our local uh, shop, which is the refill shop. So I've got my glass jars. I'm just trying to do refills to cut down on plastic. And um, I to, it's all about, if you get your storage right with any area of your life, I think it just makes life easier. No, Mark, you're a massive fan of good storage. Yeah, can I... Talking about um, refill shop, we've got one in Whitney. I don't think it's called the refill shop, but it's that similar sort of ilk. And that's the only shop since lockdown that we've been able to get yeast and flour from. They're the only shop. <laughs> Joe, our local spa slash post office has had flour. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I recently, learnt, I recently learnt that only 2%, 2% of the flour that is produced is for retail. All the rest of the flour is to go to factories to make our daily loaves that we buy from the supermarket. Yeah. And it's not the fact that we've got a lack of flour, it's the lack of packaging yeah. to put around the flour to get to supermarkets. So that, that's the issue that we've had. It's the packaging, not the flour. It's incredible. And, and also the manpower, because loads of mm. staff have been furloughed, so that's it's right. the manpower to do the smaller bags as well. So yeah, we've got incredible. storage folks. Not necessarily for flour. A few gemstones <laughs> in jewelry making. Mm. You know what? Wayne just said, put your flour in it. Why not? So I've got a great storage bundle on its way for you. Now, we ha also have um, some loose stones coming up that were launched um, with Jake the other day. And we've got some of the ones that didn't appear on screen. And we've got a couple of recaps as well. And it is the most extraordinarily rare sphene. I was talking to my husband, Drew, because I'm married, you know. I don't know if I've mentioned it. I'm actually married to the best human being on the planet. He's epic. Um, it's not Joe, no, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, and he's a qualified gemologist, and I was like, okay, so Drew, Sphene, when, you, when I say Sphene to you, what do you say? And he was just like, if it's good quality Sphene, and he talked about the one that we've got, he said, it's just, there's one word, it's beautiful, and I think that sums it up beautiful, uh, beautifully, sums it up beautiful, that, beautiful, uh, right, let me log into me. Me doobry, because I was logged in before and now it's not happened and now it's happened and it's fine. Oh no, what's happened here? Okay, let's get... <laughs> let's get a bit of colour in our eyes. I decided today, in summary, I was going to inject a little bit of colour. Look at... Oh, I love these. You're going to get two and they feel so nice and cool. Now, 
tie-dye is all the rage at the moment. It's the all the rage. You're going to get two of these strands. Five pounds for the two. Yes, I have got the other one, but I can only hold one up to my neckline at a time. How many necks do you think I've got, Wayne? How are you today, everybody? What's your name today? Today, I'm um, a... How do I feel today? Clearly sun, sunburn. Oh, I hadn't realised that. Um, a, I am a sun blushed salmon. Yeah. Um, however, how do I actually feel? Uh, tired. I'm a tired salmon. Mm. Oh, oh, he's a tired cornflake. He's still not been able to get his crunch nuts. Bless him as our little Wayne Joe, what are you today, my darling? He doesn't know really. Okay, we'll come back to you. It's the way you feel and the last thing you ate. Mark, what are you today? He won't have I am. He have I am breakfast. today. I am today an optimistic cup of tea. An optimistic cup of tea. That's nice. Yeah. What yeah. are you today then, Adam? I might share what we've had for breakfast. Have you really had salmon before nine o'clock? Yeah. Wow. Because my blood sugar goes really low really quickly. Mm. If I have pure protein right. to start the day, it really sorts me oh, out. Really? Mm. That's fascinating. Mm. Oh, Adam's a happy bran flake. How good to know. <laughs> um, we'll find out from Laura in a moment if she's had pancakes in her house. If not, she will have had something else. Okay, have a look at these. These are gorgeous. These are really gorgeous. I love Mark, look at those big They're pieces huge. of lapis. They're massive. Aren't they? Wow. <gasps> And it's supposed to be 49.95. Look at the quality of them. They're both sourced from the original prime source of Afghanistan, and they are amazing, natural. Um, oh my word, 29.95. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm gonna trash it. Are you ready? 12.95. 12.95. How much is it, Mark and Joe? Twelve ninety five. Oh, I feel like I've got a choir with me this morning. Me back in vocalist. Good morning, lovely summery team. And look at look at all the knees. You see, looking very lovely today, thank you, darling. <laughs> um, I'm a tired cup of tea so far today. Says Liz. Liz, shall I tell you something about my knee? Do you know I've got off on it at the moment? I've got a big plaster on it with bees cut my knee yesterday in the garden. I don't know how. I knelt down on the sofa. I know I've had to use a steering remover. It's like, and I've got, a, I've got a children's plaster. I don't know the last time I had a plaster on my knee. Oh, um, oh hang on. That's a, hmm, I wonder if we can move that around. Uh, Sandy, good morning, darling. Morning, Lucy and Mark and the JM gang. Happy Sunday. Can't wait for the show. Love the top. Sandy, thank you. Um, I got compliments on this. I was saying it's from a very expensive boutique known as Asta. Um, morning, Lucy, Mark and team. Mark is right, Lucy. You look fab. Thanks, Jackie. Do you know what? This Asta's at £9 top is working for me today. Well, so brilliant. It looks fantastic. <laughs> well, very expensive. I would, I would like that. Oh. So I think I would like that as, as a, um, a wallpaper in a, in a downstairs room. Okay, you, thank mate. you for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? I can tell you a website you can get a wallpaper pretty much identical to it as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I have been told that before actually. Good morning, lovely Lucy, and magnificent Mark. Uh, this morning I'm excited. I'm an excited coffee. Can't wait for uh. today's lovely deals. Oh, well, Susie, my darling, in the fabulous Cornwall. Oh, you're going to get the deals. You're going to get the deals. Okay. Oh, look at these, Mark. You're going to love this. You are going to love these. Even more than I originally thought, because you do get three strands. Is that right? <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm loving these twisted swirls, these swirl drums, as they're known. You also get the faceted rectangles, and then we've got these gorgeous little drops as well. Excuse me, I'm going to have to sneeze. The hay fever is rife today. Oh, that's better, everybody. How's everyone's hay fever today? Yeah. Pretty hardcore today, isn't it? Um, we're going to do for all three of these strands, where you've got 38 centimetres on these two, and then 18 centimetres on this particular strand. It's 12.95 for all of them. That would be.
would be the cost of just this one on a good day a jewelry maker mark 12.95 for all three that's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. I've, not, I've not seen that, that middle strand before. I, I really like that. It's lovely, isn't it? Do you yeah. know what? I'm actually thinking that this would be a lovely addition to your first kit this morning. Oh, it would, actually. Perfect yeah. colour range, wouldn't it? Yeah. Perfect. Shall we um, have another little mooch at your kits in a moment? Hi, um, hi Lucy Mock and crew. I'm a relaxed strawberry. Looking forward oh, to the I show. I like the sound of that. Sarah. <laughs> A relaxed strawberry. I'm loving that. <laughs> Hi, Lucy, Mark, and Fab T, JM team. I'm a relaxed. Oh, we've got a lot of relaxing Sunday thing going on. Um, I'm a relaxed orange juice. Lucy, I agree with Mark. You look beautiful. What? Thank you very much. This is. Do you know what? Do you know what I've done today? I haven't put as much makeup on because, quite frankly, I didn't have time. The kids were awake. Uh, oh, Kayla. I'm an argumentative orange juice having an argument with Fleabag. Fleabay. Flea Flea oh, Fleabay is the other word for the auction website. I was like, Fleabay, Fleabag. I haven't got my glass on, have I? Mm. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, Shannon's a smiley cherry jam on seedy bread. Mm. Cherry jam on seedy bread. So if I was going to have seedy bread. Bread or toast, though? Oh. I like black currant jam on bread, granary bread, but I like raspberry jam on cold, crunchy, granary toast with unsalted butter. This is what we were saying the other day. So if you went to a hotel, what would you have for your breakfast? You can just imagine if Wayne and I were in a hotel together, but not like that. We'd be at the buffet bar for breakfast, wouldn't we, Wayne? Actually, Adam would be having his crunchy bacon sandwich. I'd be going for my crunchy um, granary toast. And Wayne would be in the kids' section getting his little bowl, <laughs> getting his little thing of crunching up. I'd be having black pudding and hash browns. What, sorry? I'd be having black pudding and hash browns. Oh, I love black pudding. Oh, I do not have you down as a, a black pudding boy. Mm, love black pudding, yeah. Just so you know, everybody, fascinating fact here that uh, Wayne really wants you to know, because he said it about four times, that he only eats cereal on work days. Thank you very much, yeah. Um. Oh, these colours are gorge. Oh, oh yeah. one of the 6 bundles. This will go, this will go in seconds. Do you get the red as well? Ah, it'd gone into another thing. Oh, <laughs> oh my word, 14.95 in the size six O's. It's almost sold out already. Mm. Oh, Mark, you always say snap them up whenever you say C size well, six O's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. hiya, Pat, darling, in Menorca. I've not seen your name for a little while. Hi, let's wait. Morning, Amanda. Morning, Helen. Morning, Pavinda. Morning, oh, lots and lots of people. I'm a chilled overnight oats, loving the jewellery mark. Marie, my mum does overnight oats as well. What oh, are overnight oats? You let them soak overnight. Oh, right. Mm. Uh, happy tiger toast and marmite and strong tea. We, there was quite a good discussion about tiger bread on the show yesterday. <laughs> mm, mm. Oh, Mark, you what? Hang on. How many should you get? Mark, you, Mark, you're going to love it. Mark, 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 Mark. Are you ready for this? What have you got? Did you catch a bit of sun yesterday? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's it to you? <laughs> <laughs> looking, uh, looking handsome, aren't you? Looking handsome. Bit sun we're cutting our hair after the show today. We were going to be doing it yesterday, but Andrew had an afternoon nap so we didn't get round to it. So uh, as soon as one o'clock comes, we're going to have a quick sandwich and then we're going to cut each other's hair. When you say cut, do you mean cut or do you mean shave? Cut, yeah. Cut. With jewelry maker scissors, the Fiskar the scissors. the ones, yeah. Yeah, they're ace, yeah. yeah. We've done it once before. We did it, we did it six weeks ago and it wasn't too bad for the first time, so we're going to have another go this afternoon. I'm excited to see the results. Okay. <laughs> I'll be on the show Tuesday morning if you want to send in a picture. That'll be great. Okay. <laughs> So, have a look at these. This wow. is going to be an extraordinary deal. Twenty nine ninety 
85 on these. UDX C64. Are you ready for both of these? 12 millimeter rounds, 14 by 10 millimeter oval. 1495 for both, 1495 for both, 1495 for both, 1495. And it's a case of fastest people to confirm. And with these ones as well, maybe bringing in the size 6 O's of the seed beads because that colour together is so, that is so an on trend look and quite reminiscent of. Um, That's nice. Yeah, tribal jewellery in mm. various different tribes um, who originate from Arizona, a lot of their tribal colours within jewellery are these reds and these turquoise tones. 14.95, love that. That's an amazing deal. Check out as soon as you can on that. Oh, can we have another look at March jewellery? Because I think these kits are just epic. Oh, Amanda's messaged in. Good morning, you fabulous lot. Can't wait for the deals today. Having to watch from my bedroom. As injured at work, it's been a difficult week so far. Amanda, what can we do to help you, darling? Can Amanda we... is a veterinary nurse, so so I'm hoping it wasn't anything to do with an animal of some description. It doesn't sound good, does it? No, Amanda, we're sending mm. you all the love in mm. the world. Yeah. We're hoping we can distract from any pain and emotional anguish. Hmm. Mm. Oh, no. Um, another one here from Dawn. Hello, my darling. Good morning to you all. Just have to say, wow, loving your top. Thanks, it's really expensive. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which is not true. Um, I'm an achy sherbet lemon. Mark, oh. studying jewellery as always. Mwah. Bless Dawn, you, Dawn. Mwah. I love sherbet lemons. Hmm. I've got to be in a mood. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I love lemon. Not overly keen on sherbet. Not really a sugar hit person mm. like that. Mm. I don't really like the taste of sugary. No. If I've got a sugar quota, I'll eat it in a bar of chocolate. Mm. Mm. Um, okay, but good for you on a sherbet lemon. Did you have that for breakfast or was it a case of you <laughs> had that last night? <laughs> um, shall we have a, can we just have another quick mooch because it is... Oh, can we possibly get really close on these? I know I'm being a bit of a diva this morning on those, but the designs are so exquisite and we're going to do the kit at nine o'clock and they are honestly, the, do you know, it's the volume that you get from the kit as well because these four, five bracelets slash bangles, banglets, would we call them? Bangles, yeah. Bangles, bracelets, bangles. Bangles. They are brangles, that's it. <laughs> well, I did, but I've not done it before, but um, in the bags that the jewellery came in, I left the remnants of the kits of the beads in the bag just to show you how much you actually have left Ooh, after all the jewellery. Um, we'll see if the fabulous Laura can yeah, get on the case yeah. for that for us. Oh, and this, oh, oh my word. I wonder if that will work with my top there. I might have to wear that. That's beautiful. I love that. Love that necklace and all the earrings as well. So we'll be doing that kit at nine o'clock and then the different colour way we've got coming up for you a little bit later. So we'll focus on that a little bit later. Right, number a ten. Oh, Mark, it's ombre aquamarine. Oh, Mark. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mark. Oh, flippity flips. Did you see the... Oh, you wouldn't have seen it because you were at um, Compton. Had you been <laughs> that place yesterday? Um, but we had... A launch of a brand new form of aquamarine on the show yesterday, which was the Moss Aquamarine. Oh, now that was the mystery strand, wasn't it? That, that, that nobody seemed to know what it was. Yeah, and nobody. Mm. Oh, what Terry got it right. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. One person out of hundreds of people messaging in. Wow. <gasps> Look at those. Wouldn't it work beautifully with this? Yes. It yes. Would. Yes. Yeah. This That's would also work beautifully with your second kit. They would, yeah. yeah. Oh, and the first with those pinks. Yeah. I, yeah. I like the look of the, the nail varnish you're wearing and that and the sort of aquamarine tone. It works really well together. Thanks, Dar. Liking your compliments today. You love that, I know. <laughs> 34 95 That's for both today. 
That's for both of wow. these. There's only five of this opportunity remaining. That is sensational for the quality of these aquamarine. To get that caliber at that price is really, really extraordinary. Oh, now, just to let you know, I've got the wire end tips coming up for the alum de Glockel. Um, and I know, Mark, you're a massive fan of those. They're a 925 sterling silver. They're going to be coming up for you for the alum de Glockel, which will be shortly. Now, I've got one opportunity for this remaining. I've got loads of people with their, their baskets. Oh, it's just gone. It's just gone. It's just gone. Ah, now, we're going to do the storage bundle. So... I really, 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 I need this, I need this, I need this in my life. I need it in my life. Literally, I could not be, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with storage at the moment. And what really irritates me is my mum has been telling me for years, Lucy, you just need some more storage. And I've ignored her, and she was right. Need more storage in my life. Right, Mark, I know you've got these. Mm. These are the beetle on little trays, of which you get three in each pack, so you're going to get nine. And so what do well, you typically use these little trays for? Well, if you're, if you're doing seed bead projects, um, you, you put your colours of the seed beads in these little trays in the order that you're using them. And then when you want to, at the end of the, the project, tip, they're, they're so easy. They're like little funnels to tip them back into the tubes. You don't get any spillage. And they're really easy to, to drag the beads out of the pots as well. They're really cool. They are really cool. Mm. That's the price of the whole bundle. What? Right, OK. So... Ooh. Wow. I've been sorting out all my kitchen storage as well. I know this is fascinating for you to know. Um, so you get nine trays and you get this one, oh. which has been um, made in the UK, by the way. Okay. That measures 29 by 9.5 by 4.5 centimetres, right? So you've got that one as well. And, and wow. you get both of these. Now, with the price that we're going to go to, you go into a supermarket and buy a decent plastic sandwich box, you probably pay it for two of the, for these two. Honestly. That's not the price. No. We're doing 9 95 for all of it. You pay probably like... Wow. <laughs> Just bear with me one second, folks. Bear with me. I just need to speak to my producer. Yeah, folks, there was a graphical error. 8 95 <laughs> 8 95 8 95 How much is it, Joe? 8 95 Ah. Oh. Don't worry, Mark, your turn's next. You haven't been missed out. I know you feel gutted. Why does he get to sing? I was part of a choir a minute ago, and now I'm a solo artist. Mm. <laughs> that, that was amazing. That was absolutely well, amazing. Sold out. Well. Of course it's sold out. Can okay. you say to Joe, it's nice to meet him? Pardon? Can you say to Joe, it's very nice to meet him? Have you met him in person now? No. Oh, no. Just, just through the telly. Just, Joe, just would you like telly. to wave yeah. to Mark? Hi. There he is. Hi, Joe. He's a very fabulous specimen of a human being. We love him dearly. He lives with Liam. Um, they, uh, he basically looks after Liam. Um, he also scares Liam. So if anyone's ever seen the video footage of Liam being scared at random times, like in the middle of the night, uh, in his bed or just walking around the door, that is Joe. Right. <laughs> uh, let's do, say number... Oh! Right, hang on, how many... Okay, this has got Mark Smith written all over it. I don't think I... I don't... Have I got... And there should be four strands in total. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. DBX C60. We've got garnet rounds, we've got nuggets, and we've got the slabs in there for 18.95. Gosh. What size are the rounds? They are, excuse me one second, nine millimeter. Nine. Wow. That's fantastic. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at the depth of that colour. I can see. 
I can see you doing one of your um, memory wire bracelets mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. these. Wow. Do you know what? Yeah. All right, he's coming. Right, excuse me, everybody, but for those of you, just so you know, it's sold out, but you actually get two extra strands as well. Sorry about that, folks. I was like, wait, what's going on? There's these here, and he's like, oh, we don't know. I don't know. Uh, and he's just trashed it when you get further two strands as well. Should we just show you these two strands? You actually get those as well. Well done, everybody. He's just got that. Am I Wow. Is it gone? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, this is going to inject a little bit of colour in your life. And colour in your life. I'm trying to inject a bit more colour in my life because I'm either a black or beige person with my clothes. I'm trying to get inject a bit more colour. ATX C35 34.95 usually. Now these are awesome. Where well, you've got multi gems. Wow. Colors of your life. Dip in a man of hair. Dip in a bit. Don't just left if you have a good time. I don't think we could ever be sued for that because I really don't know if anyone would know what song that was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> to end. Look. Hello. <laughs> I love Elton John. Uh, 12.95. That's awesome. Hmm. I love matte gemstones. Yeah, I, I do. I wish, we could, I wish we had more in stock. Well, now we can pretty much set our wishes and desires a little bit more to the team. I'm yeah. sure we can get them. They are lovely, aren't they? Big pieces there as well. Sunstone and lapis and aventurine. You've got amethyst in there, carnelian, lapis, malachite. Loads of different gemstones. Topaz. Quartz, beautiful. Twelve ninety five. Twelve ninety five. Twelve ninety five. How much is it, Mark? It's twelve ninety five. Sorry, Joe. I know you were ready to jump in then, but it was Mark's sole opportunity. We will put you together back again as a duo imminently. Which one, sorry? Oh, now I love this. I love this. So what you're seeing here is actually three packs all together. I. Right. Do you know what? There's something very tactile about these. They are the slices of the coral, fossil coral. So typically, so this is three packs all put together. We have... To the left, to the left. Wow. Get ready for this. <laughs> Joe's dancing. Nice. Ninety-five. Oh, I'm going to irritate the nation this morning. Uh, MTX C15. They're stunning, aren't they? They're really stunning. So, Mark, what would you be doing with these? Well, I would um, cabochon wrap them, whether with wire or with with the CB cuddles, either at all. Did you say CB cuddles? It's a term that presenter Derek gave to bead bezeling around cabochons. He calls them seed bead cuddles, and it's something that sort of stuck a bit. Mmm. So I was a glub me tea at the same time. Mmm, <laughs> can't lie to you. Mark, for the herringbone, um, is the base beading thread or wire? Can't remember, says Kayla. For the herringbone herring technique. <laughs> Uh, wire. Yeah, that, so that's that one, folks. If you're just tuning in, the herringbone technique, um, you, you're lazy, so the piece that goes all the way through is wire. The, um, the herringbone loose is the, um, the bracelet that's got the Caribbean amber. In. Oh, in there. Oh. That, that's, that's the... Um... Oh. oh, gosh, yes, of course. So is that not considered herringbone as well? No, no. No. Which one's that the uh the, the little one on the bracelet is is well it's all sorts of herring bones but it depends which one kayla means but, but whichever one it, it's it, both of them are with wire yes yeah, so there's, there's a i think it's an eight mil running through and then 0.4 to do the herring bone with 
So a point eight and a point four in wire yep. to make that design. Fab. Yep. Thank you, darling. Um, okay. That's the only thing with these tops, like. Know what I mean? <laughs> know what I mean? Oh, oh, I just dropped a fossil coral for a fossil. Do you know what I've got to do this afternoon? Because I didn't do it yesterday. I've got to go in the paddling pool. I did promise yesterday. Did you hear me promise yesterday? And then it was a case of the kids had forgotten and then Freddy fell asleep during the rocket launch. We put him into his bed and he woke up and he went, Have I, have I, have I missed it? Oh no, oh no, it was in my life and I've missed it. Like he's four. And then he went, And <laughs> mummy, you promised to go in the paddling pool. So I've got a little, I always keep my promise because you ask them to, you've got to keep yours, haven't you? Right, which one, sorry, lovely? <laughs> 22! That's what I've got here. That's what I would have shown. There's a mistake in the uh, image on screen as well for you if you're looking on the website. And it is, in fact, the price and the code on your screen is for these two strands. Which, I this, this strand of shell right here is one of my favourites we have ever, ever done. I tell you what, charite's incredibly popular and triangles are also incredibly popular. I was speaking to a really good friend of mine yesterday. We had um, a socially distanced meeting, as in we're next door neighbours and we spoke over the fence. Um, it was her birthday and she's going to get a little symbolic tattoo and triangles are all the rage for that at the moment because the symbolism with triangles. Uh, six, 26, 95 flipping heck. I need to move that. I did that yesterday as well. Seven chances on this one. Good morning, Bertha. Except it's probably the afternoon now, Bertha, if I'm not much mistaken, I think you had chicken wings yesterday when you texted. Was that right? <laughs> Hello, Neil and Marie and Pauline, Kerry and Helen and Hertrude, loads of anonymous shoppers there as well. 26 95 for both of those strands. That so, colour is so deep, isn't it? Yeah. That's incredible. Wow. Stunning. Do you know what? I didn't know that, Wayne, but I know that now. He said, you can't even get one of those strands for that price. Did I know that? No, I no. didn't. Perfect. Thanks, Mark, says Kayla. Oh, Regarding the hair and pleasure. technique. Pleasure. Um, I do have an apology to make. Laura, I hadn't asked you, darling, so what are you today? Um, I'm an alright pancake. She's an alright pancake. <laughs> um, good morning to you all at JM. I love the top, Lucy. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Very expensive boutique, Georgia Asta. Um, I'm a relaxed lemon drizzle. Waiting for the wow. kids. Might have to take you all outside. Now, Janet, did you hear? I did a little tip yesterday. If you're watching on a laptop or a screen, apparently the way to do it is you put a cardboard box on its side and then you have like a screen in there. Uh, da, 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 da. Did you say 15? 15. 15. One five. Oh, okay, hang on. We're we're be here. Let's focus. This wow. is serious stuff. Ah, da, 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 da. They are exceptional fluorite. Look at those, and they're amazing as well because where the drill has gone, the drill hole, it's so discreet that if you don't want to use it. You don't see it. And then saying we've got the, oh, honestly, with the price that we're going to go to for both strands, I don't know any way you'd even be able to get just that one stone. I'm not wrong. I'm never wrong, Wayne. I'm never wrong. Ever. Just ask my husband. <laughs> 24.95 for the, both of those strands. Wow. How good is that? 24.95. I won't get you to do it just yet, don't worry. Bit overkill this morning. You'd expect to see one of those in a little white plastic box, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. They're exceptional quality. Absolutely exceptional. Now, we are getting to the point, folks, that come the 15th of June, we're going to be able to start getting pieces valued again. On the 15th of June onwards, all shops can be open, all auctions can be open, all jewellers, valuers. So, 
we can really seriously start talking about being able to get these pieces that you're buying valued. So then if you get them valued either to insure or to sell, we can start resuming that element of our jewellery making experience. $24.95. Oh, who's messaged in about that, sorry? Helen. Helen, hun, you've just messaged in about the um, cabochons that appeared on the website in the Charite bundle. That is a mistake on the image there, darling. You don't get them. It's just the two strands of the Charite. Human error. I'm sure you can imagine that we are working. The team, the crew here, are literally working their socks off. They're doing everybody's job because I would say over half the staff are furloughed and they're doing they're picking up what everybody else would be doing which has just been I work with an amazing team and Wayne <laughs> is a little pudding now this is Wayne and uh, this is actually my last official show on the morning show um, I'm not going anywhere. Well, I am. I'm just moving to the afternoons because Elle comes back next week. All right. <laughs> Wayne's quite excited about that. Rude. Uh, no, but the fabulous <laughs> Elle, she is back um, and will look a little bit different than when she left. I think her bump has grown quite significantly. I've seen some pictures on social media. She's one of those people that when she's pregnant, she looks, she just blooms. I don't like an ill-beached whale, and she just looks like she's had a big dinner, and she looks amazing. <laughs> no, she looks, no, she does look stunning. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, right, here's the situation. So those cabochons that appeared with the Charite earlier, they're actually in a bundle with these cabochons. So, have I got the right ones then? <laughs> oh. I just can't actually I, I've lost the ability to hold stones Shall we have a little bit of a to the left to the left <laughs> Get him in shot now Go on am I <laughs> We're not even saying the 24.95 12 pounds and 95 pence, our graphics are having a little bit of a moment this morning, aren't they? 12.95, it came in, it went out again, it came back in again. Oh, Bertha, hello, my darling, and Maria, lots of anonymous shoppers. 12.95 for all of those. And it's the fact that you can see, can you see that natural pyrite making um, its presence known as well? The beautiful sparkle, got some elements of druzy. These are fascinating, fascinating cacophonies of different minerals, they're amazing. Whilst it'll be lovely to see Elle again, I'm really going to miss you, Lucy. Oh, hard. I only watch on Freeview, so I only really watch the morning show. Sarah, do you know you can watch live on our website? Don't leave me. <laughs> Lucy, I love your top. Really suits you. Thank you, Kaylee. We know this is very expensive, Georgia. I was there last year. Uh, Lucy, I love you. Oh, I'm only moving an hour on. <laughs> But this is lovely. Thank you, doll. I was only saying it so you could get excited about Elle coming back. Hi, Lucy, Mark and crew. It's 1am here. And yes, chicken wing last night. But, to, but um, uh. I'm a sleepy chilly tonight. 1am in the morning. Bertha, I'm hoping we can give you enough energy. Keep going, girl. Keep going. You can do it. Get the bargains. Good. And you can't go anywhere, actually, because we're doing the most incredible loose stones at 9 o'clock alongside the kits as well. And then we've got the most extraordinary amber coming up at 11 o'clock and we've never had it before it is amazing um kaylee good morning lovely lizzie and mark today i'm a hungry bag of crisps not yet eaten this morning i hope you are well um kaylee there is a way that you can solve that problem eat <laughs> and do you know what <sighs> I should just be, you know, a live coach. Let's do the alarm to clock, L.
Do you know what? I need Zena to come back soon because I need the other tweezers. We don't. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. She always knows where they are. Um, Zena is um, is fine, by the way. She's just uh, self isolating and, and furloughed at the moment, and she'll be back because I've had some messages. Is she okay? Yeah, she's cool. She's totally cool. Um, and because she's, it's not a secret, but she had pneumonia at the start of the year. So she's just got to be really careful, which is good. I speak to her loads. She's, um, she's always cooking when I speak to her, actually, to be fair. So, um, yeah, she's good. She's good. Oh, a uh, little knot in my hair. That's attractive. Right, have a look at these. Mark, is she always cooking when you speak to her? She's either cooking or gardening. Yeah. She's doing a lot of gardening or organising garages and tidying and organising wardrobes. She's a bit of a born organiser, isn't she, Azina? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But okay. no, I've been oh. speaking to her and uh, and she and she, she is missing everyone. So, um, she is. Yeah, I'm sure she'll she be really back is. Soon. They are... Right, Mark? Yes. What are we looking at? I mean, I know what we're looking at. But you're Thank the pro, you. so you can tell Well, me. I think, I can't remember which day it was, but um, if um, the viewers go onto my guest designer page, I've actually got a demonstration. It was a couple of weeks ago of how to use them. Oh, cool, So, okay. so, so they're, they're basically a strengthening tool if you're using silk or threads on the end of necklaces. Because if you pop on a clasp straight onto the end of your thread, after a while, with all the wear and tear of putting it on and off, it will weaken the thread and you might have a bit of a snappage. So what you do, you've got this little horseshoe shape and you've got two little um, hold cylinders either side. Yeah. So what you do is you take your thread up through the right hand side. You take it in a little, it's got a little divot, like a sort of a soutache ridge going through the centre of the, the actual horseshoe curve. And then you take your thread down the other cylinder and then you join the two together with a, with a crimp bead and a crimp cover. And then you pop your clasp or your jump ring within that horseshoe, so it just aids, just it just it um, just lengthens the, the the time that you you have a safely worn necklace. Really, they're fantastic little things. They do, they're a really nice, beautiful way of finishing off a pearl necklace as well. And really, the, oh, they're only four ninety five for twenty. Wow. And for that added little extra, it's the difference between handmade and homemade, mm. isn't it? Completely. They're so elegant. They just they just finish off a piece of jewellery so beautifully. They do. They really do. Can I see the gold screens, please? Wait, my so thank you, Bashasaurus of Bashi Bashi Bashness. Thanks, Al. <laughs> they are now. Uh, hello, Amanda and Lee. Make sure you're all checking out. I've got most people are multi buying actually, and take advantage of that one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. How are you all? How's Mark? Now think. Can I ask you a personal question? Depends how personal. <laughs> Can I ask you, how yeah. are, you, are you feeling any different now lockdown starting to change? I'm feeling worse, I have to say. Yeah. I'm, I am feeling a hundred times more anxious with everything that is about to happen in the actual lockdown. It's just, just the not knowing and how we're going to have to change our lives and the, the rules that are coming in and what you can and you can't do. There's so much going on and uh, I've stopped looking at Facebook now. I only go onto my guest designer page because there's so many fake news and horrible stories and you can you can't you can you can't so i've stopped looking at that now so that's taking a bit of pressure off but um no i'm feeling a lot more anxious of what's ahead than what we've just been through without a doubt without a doubt it's a, it's a horrible feeling it is but i just feeling. want yeah. to say folks because this is we haven't done it for a, f a few shows mm. and i think um because i'm very aware that for a lot of people we are your only contact with other people mm. in the day so if you find if you need to sort of vent if you want to explain how you're feeling we we're all we're friends we can chat about it and i sort of preempted i thought that's what you were going to say mark i'm feeling quite similar mm. i drove yeah. um past the village well past the town of stratford upon avon where i live yesterday and it was it was terrifying the amount of people that were down by the river actually so um, but I've got some coping strategies for you that might help. So I'll, I'll, I'm, not, I'm not a life coach, but uh, we'll talk through those. But right now, we're going to do something to cheer us all up because we're going to look at the entries to the Wall of Fame. Just say. 
say, Adam, you said your mic is live, you're in vision. I heard you're naked, you're in vision. <laughs> I think I need to perhaps go and get my hearing tested again when lockdown is finished. Right, one, two, six, hello, Rose, my darling. We love Wall of Fame entries, my favourite part of the show. Just send your designs in to us. You'll all get allocated a number and uh, you'll be, I hate strap miles. And uh, on Wednesday, we will make a draw to find out who's won the Wall of Fame. £100 credit to your account, second prize, £50 credit to your account. And this is from Rose. Hello, Rose, my darling. And this is a brooch. That is exquisite. Isn't it? Isn't it? Wow. It's a brooch made from bare copper wire made into an ivy leaf. It's been filled with the frame, um, filled the frame with chips of emerald green on it and green adventurine to achieve some shading and finished with copper seed beads. I based this design on the elven brooches given to the hobbits in the Lord of the Rings films. Oh, I love that. All materials are used from JM. Good luck and thank you to JM for keeping us going from Rose Wheatman. Rose, that's fab. Love that. Well done, my darling. Good luck to you. This is 127. So classy. This is from Molly in Belfast. Hi, all. This is a silver necklace and earring set using Kunzite nuggets, all set into 925 stone silver. I love the pale waterfall type colours, which re in reality sparkle beautifully. All the components are from JM, of course. Thanks again to all the, for the great programmes and the bargain. Stay safe and well from Molly in Belfast. Molly, beautiful 127. One, two, eight, loving this, loving the colour of the backdrop as well. This is from Francis in Somerset. Hello all, uh, loving the colours of Agate from JM. You see striped green and blue puffy squares for the earrings with pewter findings, also on a, a, a stretchy bracelet. Lots of love, and that's from Francis. Francis, gorgeous darling, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, fab wire work, wow. This is from Lorraine. Well, what an emotional month this has been. Thank goodness for Jewellery Maker keeping me focused and hopefully this month will be better. My darling, we're sending you all the love in the world. My entry for this week is a piece I made for Gem and May's, uh, from Gemma's May Challenge. It's a garden window hanging inspired by a dear friend passing and new life emerging in the garden. Oh, darling. Um, all the components are from Jewellery Maker and it's just kept evolving. Flowers, butterflies and vines and I hope it makes it to the wall of fame. Take care everyone. Thank you so much to the JM team for the support during this challenge. Oh, Lorraine, sending you all the love, and I think that is a truly, it's a beautiful piece, and you can see it's a piece made with utter love and devotion as well. One, two, nine, good luck. A great look here of everyday stretchy wear, but with just a little bit more, mm -mm. Because that makes sense. Uh, one three nine uh, three zero. This is from K. My entry is a couple of memory wire ch um, chip bangles in NHS rainbow colours, and they look fab on, easy to wear. Stay safe, everyone's from K in uh, Hertfordshire. One three zero. Loving those K. Well done, my darling. One three one. Oh, Mark, you're gonna love this. Oh, Mark, you're gonna love this. This is from Susie in Scarborough. Hello all at the JM Castle. Mwah! This is my Wall of Fame entry, a macrame bracelet made from Eslon, Mayuki sea beads and two kinds of gecko beads, all from Mark Smith's kit a couple of weeks ago. It would make my day if I saw it on the wall, but it would be even better if Mark saw it. Well, he is. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I love his kits and demos. Thank you for all being there. JM has become my family just now. Big virtual hugs from Susie in Scarborough. Susie. Bless you. One, three, one. It is a stunning piece of work. Really stunning. And Mark has seen it. One, three, two. Lovely design here from Anila. Hello, my darling. Here's my entry using the Swarovski crystals, shell pearl, Mayuki 15 O's and delicate 11 O's for this bracelet. All the items are from JM except the clasp. And best wishes from Anila. Anila, that is stunning and so wow. classy. So classy. Uh, one, three, three. Another fab. The designs are just gorgeous. I, I'm just saying, I know it's part of party design, but I like your drawing pins. Melissa, hello, my darling. This necklace and earrings are one of those fabulous pieces that just happen. I was twiddling with wire months ago and did the wire wrap then, and I picked it up yesterday when I was on the phone, twisted it into this fab spiral. I wrapped two millimeter beryl around the outside. That took ages. Then I used beryl rice beads for the necklace and beryl flat drops for all those dangly beads. And I love the shape of the flat drops. We definitely need more of those. All wire and gemstones were from... J M. Please take care everyone and stay safe from Melissa. Melissa, that is a beautiful piece that's evolved in such a stunning way. I love the journey of that. Well done. One, three, three. One, three, four. Oh. 
Harren. Please find Attach My Entry to the Wall of Fame. Two Argentium rings. He's a gorgeous. Uh, one stack of ring and the other. Um, I've uh, water casted some Argentium, which has created natural bezels. And I've used small onyx stones and Swarovskis to finish. Thank you and good luck to everyone from Karen134. The final one, 135. I love this from Sue in Chesterfield. I wanted to make a bowl with polymer clay for some time and watching Carol and the crew the other week gave me the push for the result. Made uh, using the extruder tool and the ombre colour. And good luck to and take care everyone. And thank you GM, G GM, I can't even, I don't even know the name of the company. JM for being there for us from Sue in a Chesterfield. Sue, that is gorgeous. I love that. If you imagine making that and filling it with your gemstone tumbles, I think that'd be amazing. It, it would be fab, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. we're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, though, we not only have Mark's amazing kits, but I've got the most extraordinary rare sphene. Um, we're going to have something for everybody in the next hour, including the last in current stock of the Sleeping Beauty cabochon, uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. So don't go anywhere. Mark, get yourself a cup of tea. I'm gonna mm -hmm. get a cup of tea as well. We'll see you in just a moment. Jewelry makers, on Sunday, Lucy has got something so exclusive for you. Never, ever seen before on Jewelry Maker from the Caribbean green amber there's only a very very limited amount so you need to make sure you're tuning in on sunday for the deal of the day buying with jewelry maker online couldn't be easier just head over to our website jewelrymaker.com and click on the register link simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. you'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Hello jewellery makers, Eleanor Stevens here, one of your long-standing presenters. Now um, I've got some exciting news with all the craziness that has been going on. I've been off your screens for quite some time and I've missed you so, so, so much. But I will be returning on the 1st of June. I'm going to be joining the fabulous, the wonderful Carol uh, for a Pearl Showcase. I'll be with you for a couple of hours on the 1st of June for what will be an absolutely spectacular showcase. And then I'm back to it with my usual team, Wayne and gang, um, on the 3rd and 4th of June. So I'm back. You're going to be seeing a whole lot more of me. I've missed you all terribly. I hope you are all keeping well and safe and I can't wait to get back into the world of crimping and wrap loops and gizmo coils. I'll see you soon. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? 
you can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Four and a half billion years ago, as our own planet Earth was forming, in the far reaches of the universe, another potential planet was growing. But the universe had a different plan for this one. And so rather than forming a paradise like we have, sent it flinging across the cosmos on a journey that would take four and a half billion years ago, which would strip this protoplanet of all its rocky exterior, leaving its solid iron core behind only. And a million years ago, that same iron core would crash onto our home planet. This week, between Thursday, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., I hope to launch with you fragments of that fallen planet's core so that you and I can craft jewelry that is truly out of this world. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewelry making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewelry Maker website and check out our project page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewelry maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. got now okay so um, I'm going to be um, I'll be really honest I'm going to do what I did yesterday and I've got fact sheets so I'm going to do some reading to you when it comes to some uh, elements of this hour because it's so significant right but there's some things I have to tell you I have got a triple bundle of tanzanite and I'm, what can I say it's going under He's just going to double check the price on it. But triple offer on exquisite. I cannot, I cannot believe what we're going to do on it. Everyone's got to get this deal. And we're not limiting you to more than, uh, we're not limiting you to just one. Uh, there's no limit on it at all. But this triple offer. I reckon I can tell everybody it's going less than that though. To say we're going under £50 for all three is an understatement. <laughs> they are stunning. They're absolutely what? stunning. And they're all graded and they're going to come with a certificate of authenticity, all of these. And all three of them going way under £50. Way under. Like, might actually make you salivate and palpitate. Under. Um... Now, also, I've got, yesterday I had um, a beatbox with Linda on the show, and Mark was with us, of course, when we used to do these as well yeah. in the days of old. Mark, how much do we love a beatbox? They're, they're, they were one of their main staples, weren't they, were in old school jewellery maker. I mean, we used to have one on every show, pretty much, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, uh, well, that's what we're no, hoping to be able to do again. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It was how like yesterday, wasn't it, which was yeah. incredible. Wow, look at this. 
Yeah, this is the Dalmatian Jasper and the Onyx, and that is oh, yes. beautiful. That's coming up at 10 o'clock. Um, we've got the Caribbean Green Amber coming up and being launched at 11 o'clock. We've got Mark's kits, we've got chains, we've got nuggets, we've got the anti-tarnish bags. We've got Sveen that will literally... So, it has to be seen, Sveen, to be believed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I think we've been saying that since time began. Um, can I show you? So, basically... Um, is this the big one that Wayne was just talking about? Yeah. Oh, oh did you hear us in the break? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't seen it, though. Let's have a look. Um, oh, my word! Now, Mark... Mark, oh you have Lord. got some Sveen jewellery that you've um, purchased from our sister channel, haven't you? We'll talk about oh. this though when we come to it a little bit later. But just so you know, Wayne and I have been working with high-end gemstones for a number of years. Wayne has had a lot more contact with this stone, though, than I have. And he walked in the studio and he said, every day of the week, anywhere else, to mm. run that stone. Yeah. £2,000, that stone. Um, so that's coming up for you, and we've got a beautiful range of the Sphine. I mean, and they all come certificate of authenticity. But right now, we're going to do the kit. Mark, your first kit, which are these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colours. What you've done with this is just utterly divine. I didn't actually realise how much jewellery I'd made until you see it all laid out. In well, front you've of made me, a lot. So I'll just move my giraffe <laughs> mug. <laughs> they're, they're an absolute joy. These kits, absolute joy. What Love a beautiful! So, can we begin with these? Because I just think the whole the price of the kit you pay for one of these bracelets. The, the price that we're going to do. Well, I don't know what the price the kit's going to yet. Mm, I, I'm not I privy do. to that yet. Um, I would happily pay what we're doing the whole mm. price of the kit for for this bracelet. Yeah. Oh dear. Should I be worried? Yeah. Mm, okay. Maybe two of the bracelets, because I know for Mark's pricing, because Mark's very conservative. But I would, I would sell each of those bracelets for about forty pound each. Yeah, you'd be able, for forty pounds each. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. you would be able to get this brace. So basically, buying this kit, you'd have right. change from forty pounds. Okay. And that's just making the one bracelet. You've got yeah loads of change from forty. To be fair. Um, I would, right, we're going to bring the graphics on screen in a minute. This kit is going to sell out. Mm. We're going to put a clock on screen. Um, so we're going to do a minute clock because this is a Mark Smith kit. It's going to sell out. They always do. They always do. So, uh, minutes on uh, in the system at the moment. So if you're calling up and uh, that's the way you like to shop, it's a free phone number 0800 644 655. Take advantage of this minute now. This is your time to get on the phone lines. Once the graphics come on screen, the people who shop on the website can participate in this as well. It's an amazing kit which has got your shell, um, shell pearl in it, all of your wires, and then you've got your 925 cylinder silver spacer beads as well. So the value for money in this is awesome. The three strands are extraordinary. The colours are beautiful. Now, for those of you who are regular viewers and particularly Mark Smith fans, you will... Hang on. How many strands of shell pull? Four. Should be four. I think this has been, this has been priced for three, hasn't it? <laughs> Don't I'll say that. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Right, everybody, here we go. Graphics coming on screen. It's the case of the fastest people to confirm. Shall we have a glide through all the pieces? Let's have a glide through. With Mark telling us all about them. Come on then, Joe. Right, Mark, talk us through wow. what you've been doing. Um, and in the meantime, folks, put these in your baskets. You're getting the four strands of shell pearl. You'll get the 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 of the wire and you'll get 40 pieces of the, well, 40 of the spacer beads. Right, Mark, over to you, my lovely. Well, the first, the first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to make a, um, a lariat, and, which is the long necklace on the, on the white bust there. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to do something different with the bees. I just didn't want to rosary link them. So I've, I've done three different types of bead cap, all made with the wire. Um, this whole kit, I didn't use any findings. I made everything. 
from the from the kit. So it, it's That's gone awesome. such a long way. Yeah, so so it's really pleased. So the first thing I did was made the lariat with the with the bead caps. And that's actually the demo at the end of the hour is going to be showing you how to make the bead caps. That's I the first, wear this every day. The first demo. The, the, but the colours, I mean, they're so summery, aren't they? And, yeah. Uh, they're perfect. And as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the show, Zena and I launched, I think it was three or four bundles on Christmas Day. And we were, we were so taken aback by how quickly they flew off the show. And they were so popular. So we oh. just had to get some more in again. Half and, the stuff's um, already gone of this already. Half the oh, stuff's gone. Could I see well. the call screens, please? Thanks, Will. Gosh, it's brilliant. And you've got three gauges of wire. You get you get 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8. So all the all the gauges that you need for your macrame and your rosary linking, mm -hmm. um, all your wire work, all your findings using your 0.8. So no, it's been, the 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 wire gauges were specifically chosen to go with the shell pearl. And obviously, being shell pearl, they've got really good drill holes. So your 0.8 will go through all of them. So it's it's just a beautiful kit. But it's the ombre colours. The fact that you can do all your colour grading with them. They're, they're perfect. This is so classy. The combination is fantastic. And Which I is know your favourite we... strand? Say that again, sorry. Which is your favourite strand of the four? Probably the pink. Oh, OK. Mine is the, mine's the pale lavender in between the two pink there. I think that's so beautiful. I like all of them, though. Mm. They're stunning. They're, they're absolutely different beautiful. In the different settings as well. Okay, um, it's nearly sold out, so we better bring the price in, and then we'll have a little look through the uh, earrings as well. <laughs> Are you ready for this? It's ridiculous. I told you you'd get change from £40. It's a case of first come, first served. £27.95, Mark. Oh, wow. Okay. But you get, you get sterling silver beads with it yeah, as well. Yeah, you do. All plated yeah. and all the wire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you've done the earrings as well, you've done three pairs of earrings and you've made your own earring findings. So what gauge of wire yes. have you used for those? 0.8. All, all of the findings are 0.8 and I've worked hard and just using a, a pair of flat nose pliers, I've worked hard and all the findings just to give it some extra strength as well. Made all the jump rings, all the gizmo coils, did all the caging, everything. It, so as I said, I didn't, didn't use anything else. And I love these earrings here. Look at the detail on those. So, so that, that again is a type of herringbone. They're stunning! Yeah. 27.95, make sure you're checking out. We yeah. are close to a sellout on this one, folks. Close to sellout. Once again, towards the latter part of the hour, we will then um, put. So that, oh, there's only 15 of the kit left. Only 15. 40 oh. people with these in the baskets, 15 of the kit left. The thing is, if you don't get it today, you're not ever going to get it. We very, very, very rarely. Um, repeat kits, really very, very rarely. Uh, somebody's texting Mark asking if you could possibly pop the pictures of this on your Facebook page, please. Yes, I'll do that. Yeah, June's asked for that, my lovely. Um, usually okay. we would do here, but obviously we're skeleton staff, so that's just not, we've just, there's, no, there's not the manpower uh, to do that side of things at the moment. Mm -hmm. As soon as service resumes normality, that will be the case again. HKXC14, 27.95. There's only nine of these remaining, and once again, once they've gone, they have gone. This is, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. And the colours of those are divine. To be honest, Mark... Mm -hmm. With your second kit that you've got, yes, I possibly mix and match the colours a little. You can, bit. you can mix them, and obviously all the all of the techniques that um, that we've done in the gold kit, you can replicate in the silver. And when we come to the twelve o'clock kit as well, we we've got 0 0.4 silver back in stock again, which is which is just arrived. So we, mm. again, we've mm. got so it's exactly the same kit, but it's in silver. And with the silver, the, the silver kit coming up at twelve, you get a sneaky strand of pearls instead of spacer beads as well, cultured pearls. So um, something a little bit special in that. So I realise I look like I'm staring in space, but I'm watching Mark on a bigger screen there because I haven't got my glasses on. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Alison, hello, you gorgeous specimen of a human being, you. This is Alison, our guest designer. Oh, look at you, Mark Wireworker Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous jewellery. Looking lovely, both of you. Sending love. Alison, miss you. Bless you. Oh, Alison, I, I miss your Alison. hugs. Yeah. Oh. How are you? How's John? How are the dogs? How's everything? Uh, good morning, all. Beautiful work, Mark. Your pieces are fabulous. Take care, all. Mikey B, good morning, my darling. Thank Mikey you, B, Mikey did B. I know Thank you were in you. West Yorkshire. Did I know that? <laughs> 
love and want those teardrop earrings mark you are a design genius liz i think it's fair to say that he has found his forte in jewelry making and he's taking over the world <laughs> Taking over the world, I tell you. I've got lots of plans for Mark. He doesn't know them yet, but he is going Have to... Have you? Yeah. Uh, that sounds a bit ominous. Yeah, you haven't got any choice. you just got to do it. Will I have to be on my best behaviour? I've never known you on your best behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, no, it's go yeah, it's going to be cool. Right, I just need okay. life to get back a bit to a bit more yeah, okay. normal. Yeah. That was yeah. intriguing. We yeah. will talk. We will talk. Mm. Oh, now I've got some coping mechanisms for you folks that I was talking about earlier as well. If anyone's on Instagram, I don't know if she's on Facebook as well, I swear to you this isn't like a paid advert or anything like that, but it's just something that might help you that's helped me. I put it on my presenter page, and it's a psychologist called Dr. Julie Smith. Um, let me just check that I've got that right. I put it on my presenter page, and I've had quite an amazing response to it. So... People are asking for the second kit already, apparently. Well, you can't. Um, it is, yeah, it's Dr. Julie Smith. She's a psychologist, and she just puts on almost like... It's not any meditation or anything, but she just sort of says it as it is, and what she says, you just go, oh, yeah. So I would really recommend hunting her out. So have, you, have you been on my Facebook page, my presenter page, Mark? Not recently. Rude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Go on. Yeah, have a look. Maybe when we're doing your demo, because you'll be getting yourself a cup of tea. Um, I can't believe he's not spending his day just trawling about me. Come on, <laughs> come on. Um, no, there's, um, so for anyone who's really struggling, I found it really, really, like, really helpful because it's really normal as well. There's no namby-pamby and it's not too, I mean, I'm, you know, I do a lot of spiritual things, but some people, it just gets a bit gushy and there's, mm. it's not, you know, it's, some of it, it's just a little bit, you know, some people almost have taken advantage of the situation, I think, as in, I'm going to tell people how to, no, there are, so, and just, yeah, this is really good. It's, it's, it's genuinely helpful okay. rather than people to try and gain following just for the sake of gaining following. Mm, okay. Anyway, hi Mark, thank you, and uh, Kit and uh, Jewelry Beautiful got it. When's the second kit on, please? Got to pop out Ella. 12 o'clock, my darling. Uh, any silvery shell bells? Jennifer, shall I point you to our next kit? Should we have a little mooch <laughs> around the next kit? It is, but those peacock pearls are to die for. They're amazing. <laughs> Just nearly fell off my chair. Has caught me, Ruth. Yes, look at these. Oh, Mark. Ma, 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 we, we've, we've had peacock pearls, shell pearl on the show before, but, but nothing like this. They're, they are exquisite. Look at those. They look like Tahitian, don't they? Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. Uh, June says, tell Mark his favourite three pups are happily watching him this morning and persuaded their nanny to buy the rosebud kit. <laughs> Hello, June. <laughs> I haven't seen June for ages. I don't think June I've seen anyone for ages, have you? No, well, that's true. That's true. No. no. Bless you. Apart from I saw you yesterday from about a five metre distance. I'm, honestly, I felt a bit choked yesterday seeing you. Oh. It was a bit like... Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a reality wake-up call, I think. Mm. Because we've almost become a little bit in a bubble here, and I've got used to seeing Wayne now. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a bit like, oh, yeah. It's funny how you get used to things, isn't it? Mm. Right, can I just, before we do this next one, sorry, 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 but, but... Three Tanzanites coming up for under £50. Three Tanzanites coming up under £50. We've got the most incredible uh, Madagascan fiend as well. It is epic. But those three Tanzanites coming up for under £50 will literally go... <gasps> what number did you just say? <laughs> oh, now, did you get the road night box yesterday with the Howlite? Because if you did, you need this in your life. This is a cabochon assortment. Thank you. That was a very manly response then. He just went... You need me alive. That was from uh, Wayne Meister. Oh, yeah. Little bitch back. Wow. 
They're incredible. Aren't they? They're like, they're like the ruby sections in Ruby Zerosite, aren't yeah. they? But the whole, yeah. the whole cabochon. Yeah. They're amazing. Looks like a raspberry coolie, doesn't it? Oh, I love a raspberry coolie. At $9.95. <laughs> wow. That's absolutely amazing. Katie, amazing. check out. Oh, Nicola, check out. <laughs> Julie, check out. Pauline, check out. Hilda, check out. Everyone, check out. Take it away, take it away, take it away now. With my Mancunian tone going in there. All right. Are you a fan of elderflower cordial and yeah. sparkling elderflower? Yeah. We've just made 12 bottles. Of course you did. Yeah, brill. If, do you know what? If I was asked, who's the one person you know in your life who would make 12 bottles of elderflower cordial? It would be you, Mark Smith. <laughs> it was quite predictable, to be fair. And okay. yes, I would like one. Thank you very much for the offer. Right. Oh, that, that, was what the, that was the leading okay. question. I think would we could like do a socially distanced walk in Stratford. And you can bring me one. Yes. We drove through Stratford yesterday to get to this place we were going How to. How busy. And it was busy, yeah. Mm. There's lots of roundabouts, aren't there? Little roundabouts in Stratford as well. Are there? There's a lot of traffic mm. lights. Don't get us started. Don't let the right. locals get started on traffic lights. <laughs> Tell you. On our, on our local Facebook page, it's all about the traffic lights. Uh, right, OK. Um, let's do a Mexican fire opal. And it's a double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the traffic lights, I tell you. Mm. Oh, look. Um, I love this with silver, with rose gold, with yellow gold. These wow. are gorgeous. Mark, I'm loving that lariat style necklace that you did before, and I think these would lend themselves really beautifully to that elongated necklace because it would follow the natural flow of the shape. Oh, definitely. Have you got the next kit there? Yeah. Can you pop the, the, the really dark peacock strand alongside those? I think yes, that I would can. work beautifully. Oh! Oh! That's extraordinary. It would never have occurred to me to do that. Oh, look at that. I love that. See, that the studio isn't doing that strand any justice no, at all. No, 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 none of them. Strand. They never do no. any of the strands any justice. <laughs> no, no. Are you realising now you're seeing the show more um, through TV screens, are you really seeing that more now? I mean, look at oh, this. Oh, definitely, yeah. You're getting cool. two there for £39.95. It's usually for how much was it? You... 69 95 per strand or the lockdown what? clearance price at 39 95 Gosh. These are the final few. Have you ever seen such low stock quantity on a morning show before? No. Basically, the stock that we would usually allocate to the late show, where it is more um, last of stock numbers, because the late show isn't happening, we have the stock present on the morning show at the moment. And it's the way that we're keeping operating until our new supplies come in, and they are coming. RCX C18. It's in dear, isn't it? Because I've gone back into lockdown. Mm. Did you know that, Mark? Yeah, I've heard. Mm. Yes. So, final three chances, but it's, do you know what? We'll do whatever we need to do just to write it out because it's more, more, there's nothing is more important than mm. people's safety. No, absolutely not. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Uh, to not, not to be compromised. Um, they're amazing. They're amazing. Okay, I really, 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 really am in love with this stone because it just goes with absolutely everything. And when I am wearing a little bit more of um, sort of the neutral tones, so I'll wear um, a lot of black or like the top I was wearing yesterday in the peachy nude tones, I think this just goes with everything. It's an amazing stone, which is really captivating and no two are ever the same. You're looking at a fossilised coral. Now, just to reiterate, coming up for you before the end of the hour, we have the last of the Sleeping Beauty to cabochons in stock. Um, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, we've got a trilogy uh, of the Tanzanite cabochons and we've got the Sveen. At 10 o'clock, we've got the bead box. At 11 o'clock, we're doing the launch of the Caribbean green amber. We've got the anti-tarnish bags. We've got so many stones to bring to you in the meantime. And it's 12.95 on this one. It's the Indonesian wow. fossil coral. And it is, if you think about how the oceans 
are so different in Indonesia and the, the life that's there and then we've got that from millions of years ago that's then fossilised, the coral that's been fossilised from there. It's just a different stone that's so unique to its location and 140 carats, 6 by 2 up to a 10 by 6, so 20 centimetre strand and it is stunning. It's a good one for the gents, isn't it? Yeah, I think. do you know what? A, a simple stretchy bracelet for the gents. I was literally just thinking, this would look great with what Joe's wearing today. Mm, mm. Joe, heavily featured in today's live TV show on Freeview. Heavily featured, Joe. Hello, Beverly, darling. Morning, Amy and Janet. Hi, Poppy. Now, our phone lines are quite busy this morning, so if you can shop on the website, that would avoid disappointment when stock levels are so low. So you can shop on jewellerymaker.com. We've got the app as well. It is a free phone number on the phone lines. As much as we say, you know, it's a free phone number, you don't get charged for that call. If you're in a queue, you might risk losing out where well, you are risking losing out on an item because stock levels are so low. I'm waiting for our elderflower to come out to make elderflower champagne. <sighs> it's great for sipping while sitting in the sun. It is, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Janet. When we got when we got when we got married, well, ten years ago now, we we made spark, we made elderflower champagne for the toast at the of reception. Course you did. <laughs> it's nice. Do you like pickled onions? No. Oh, you don't like pickled onions. Drew loves pickled onions. Are you pickling onions? No, we we, we did we we, uh, we did it at Christmas, and uh, we're just starting to to eat this year's jars. Yeah, we love pickled onions. Yeah, Drew. They're a bit ferocious. Yeah, no, I don't get on with onion at all, really. I'm not an onion, mm -hmm. garlic, right. leek, chive. Right. No, not my, not my mm. thing. Um, mm. Which one, sorry? Pickled onions, onion, onions. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no one else sing that rendition of Happy Birthday? Lovely. <laughs> A hundred and seven. Oh, look at those. Are they or not, are they not some of the largest red garnet faster bees that we've ever had? Seven millimetre garnets. It's so contemporary, isn't it, that shape? Yes. Wow. Do you know what, Wayne? You're throwing prices in my ear, but I know full well you're not finished yet because I'm hearing your little inflection in your voice. Ah, there we go. <laughs> We're not staying there. Did you hear that, Mark? Yes. <laughs> 995. Now, this is not a 995 strand. If you've just tuned in, this is genuine, natural, organic red garnet. Debbie and Claudia, lots of anonymous shoppers. Beautiful, sizable pieces. Do you know, I can tell it's heating up outside as well. It's getting warm in the studio, isn't it? Now, I've got 40 of these in baskets, but there's only 14 left. Make sure you check it out as quick as you can. Bertha, check out. You need to get your adrenaline going, darling. You need to stay up. It's now half past one in the morning where Bertha's living. It is. Mm-hmm. Dedicate... Did it? I can't even talk. Brilliant. Dedicated to the cause. Yeah. Did you watch the rocket launch, Mark? No, I completely forgot about it. Brilliant. You have to watch we, it on we, replay. We, we watched this dreadful film on Netflix, and after, we, after it finished, we looked at each other and thought, well, that's an hour and a half of our lives. We're never going to get back. It was appalling. But Brilliant. never mind. Never mind. Do we know what... It, can we, without saying the title and completely destroying the producer's life forever, can you tell us vaguely what it was about? Um, it was about a news reporter who was following a fire crew in America. They were called out to a hotel. Okay, I'm bored already. <laughs> yeah. And it, 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 it's zombies and rabies and all sorts of rubbish. It was dreadful. Zombies <laughs> and what? They thought, they thought these people had rabies, but it turned out to be some sort of... Yeah, but it turned out to be some sort of zombie Did thing. Did you read but... the description before you watched it? <laughs> Well, I only get on reviews and it was given three and a half stars and I thought that's not too bad, but it, no, it was appalling. So, we started after that to, to, to come down. Also on um, one of those um, searchy things, they've got the entire series of Downton. So we started series one, episode one of Downton and we're going to start watching Downton. Today. I am proud of you. <laughs> You'll you, love, you know be. what? You will love it. 
Did you? Well, we watched, we watched the first two series when it was on TV, and then we sort of gave up. So we, we determined we we're going to start again and binge watch it. You'll love it. Look out for the jewellery. Mm. It's, okay. it's, yeah, gorgeous. And I still <laughs> not watched the Christmas special because I can't bring myself to know it's my final time with Downton. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> These are crazy lace agates. <gasps> oh, I love them. And do you know what I love about the shape? Do you know what I remember when we launched the shape? I was on a show with Rachel Norris. I remember it vividly because we talked about the fact that if you are new to wire work, these are fantastic natural anchor points within the cut of the stone. These are now at just 9 95 and I think they are beautiful. And I'm going to hold these up to the decolletage. We're going nowhere. We're going nowhere. How many have we got? Oh, they're beautiful. Lowest ever price of £6.95. Add those onto your order. They're amazing. We've had somebody ask, what time are we doing the trilogy at the Tons Night? What time, please, Wayne? In about 10 minutes' time, we've got the Sphene. We've got the final cabochon of the Sleeping Beauty turquoise in the business. That Sphene will blow your socks off. At 10 o'clock, we've got the beatbox. We've got loads and loads and loads of deals to bring to you. In the meantime, this is six ninety five. Add it onto your order. That's, am that's amazing. That was amazing. It sold out. Okay, which next? Ah, oh, can I just say I really, really, really love, and I know that Mark will really love number 25. Oh, there the boy racers going past. I mean, there could be girl racers, let me just be clear about that. Mm. Mark, am I right that you love that colour? Yes, it's stunning, isn't it? Beautiful. You've got a great big pink flower in the middle of your top, and I think that would just go beautifully with that colour. Oh, it's gorgeous. Fourteen ninety-five. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or are we going lower? And it's genuine, wow. natural Peruvian opal. They're beautiful. Nine ninety-five. They're beautiful. I can see myself. In a little <laughs> Grecian, no, not on a beach. In a little Grecian town. No, you're not with me, no. I'm there. Do you know what? On my own. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Drew, we'd have fun in a Grecian town. All right, Adam, you can be there. Um, you can just sit on a different side of the town to me. I want to be on my own. Um, and I'm there, and I'm having an iced coffee, watching the world go by with, oh yeah, I'm there, and there's some really beautiful music playing. I'm totally there. Ice anyway, oh, yeah. Oh, I was totally, I swear to God, I was totally there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, an iced coffee. Mm. You're not an iced coffee person, Mark. I'm not, I'm not a fan of cold, hot drinks, no. I have to say. Oh, no, I'm all right. I think it's because I, um, I have parented two children. You sort of get used to cold hot <laughs> <Yeah>. drinks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 9 95 they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Oh. There's something about Mediterranean heat that just makes you feel fabulous. And, oh. I know I'm not. I'm right. I'm right. Which one, sorry? Oh, these are, oh, Mark, you're going to love these, you're going to love these, you're going to love these. They are the dendritic agates. Oh. Look at the shape of them as well. Oh, they're cool. So what would you be doing? I think this could be, do you think this could potentially be deemed to anyone new to jewellery making as an intimidating shape? I don't think so. I mean, I would, I would take them off and treat them as a cabochon, for okay. one. So I would use the backing foundation and, uh, and do bead bezeling and seed bead bezeling, or you could do the most amazing um, wire macrame cages around them, do all sorts. They're really nice. They're large enough to be able to do things like that with. They're ace, aren't they? Yeah, let me just get out. Or just, just one on a piece of necklace memory wire, nothing else, just, just that in the middle of the nape of the neck would be beautiful. This is a strand from the bead box coming up at 10 o'clock. Ah. Just works, doesn't it? Absolutely works. Oh, wait, 100, six, trouble, four, six, four, five, 90 carats. And that's the Indian wow. dendrite agate. Good morning, everybody.
Oh, we're busy, busy, busy. Oh, I'm going to have a nice coffee this afternoon when I'm sat in the paddling pool getting drenched by my children. Which I'm really thrilled about. And they've also said that I need to go on the slip and slide in the garden. And they put fairy liquid all over it yesterday to make it extra slidey. Fairy liquid on the lawn? No, on the... Um, don't worry, oh. Mark, it wasn't oh. on the lawn. Look, look it's like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, on the slip and slide, it's like this plastic matting. But yes, it possibly will spill over to the lawn and then it will be dead. Um, morning, Lucy and Mark. Has Mark finished his needlepoint? Um, as shown with Vicky a few days ago, says Vera. Not quite. Nearly there. I'm nearly there. Do we get to see it as well? Um, we'll I find can go and get it if you want to. Lucy, you must watch The Western. You've lost me. Godless. With Lady, uh, oh, with Lady Mary in the lead female role. Took me one hour to figure out what I'd seen her in. She is beautiful. OK, so Adam's seen it and he says he's not sure it's my thing. Is it a little bit... It's violent, can't do violence. No, I like Father of the Bride. I can't watch <laughs> Labyrinth. They're doing a remake of Labyrinth, aren't they? No, I can't watch Labyrinth. It's too terrifying. No. <laughs> I've always been very open about the fact I'm scared of labyrinth. Do you know what? I've just lost that strand. Oh, it's here. I adore this quartz. I think it's my favourite quartz ever. It's the Sagnetic quartz. I adore it. Now, some people also refer to this as a strawberry quartz, but this is, the official title for this is Sagnetic quartz. But just bearing in mind, actually, just to let you know, strawberry quartz, there, are, there is a faux gemstone called strawberry quartz as well. There you go, a little bit of uh, info for you. Uh, they're beautiful. Look how sparkly they are. That's rich, isn't it? Wow. Don't you think I don't think I've ever seen it so dark as that before. Yeah. I think it worked really nicely with the shell pearl from the first kit. It would, yes, absolutely. Oh, look at that. That's stunning. Actually. Oh. That's rhodochrosite bracelet that Claire McDonald made for myself and her on the show the other day. Sixty nine five on that. Well done, Angela and Josephine. Good morning, everybody. How are you? You all right? How are you feeling? How are you feeling today? Anyone checked out Dr. Julie Smith? Did you see my post on Facebook? Did you... Uh... You're going to have a look at it during the demo time, aren't you, Mark? Mm, yeah, I'm intrigued. It's really good. Did you say 11? Oh, the... oh Mark, 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 Mark. Oh, the shape! The shape, the colour, the matte finish. This, if you are a Mark Smith fan and you love what Mark Smith loves, you are going to buy this strand without a shadow of a doubt. Mark, this has got you written all over it. Look at those. This is genuine, natural aquamarine. Wow. But look at the almost the shell quality. Oh, could you imagine putting those with Labradorite? I always think, look at it, I've seen this strand once before on a show, and um, it reminds me of if, if jadeite was this sort of blue colour. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it would be this, wouldn't it? 11.95, but just look at them with those. <gasps> These are from the second kit coming up at 12 o'clock, two of the four right. strands. Loads of people asking for it to be brought on screen early. I'm afraid we can't. Love the colour of the tassels as well. This is lovely. It's lovely, isn't it? That really Let It lovely. Go Frozen thing was on yesterday afternoon on TV. PLNV85. PLNV85 on that. Well done, everyone. Make sure you're just checking out. We've only got five of those remaining. Oh, okay. We're about to. Oh, 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 oh. Which one? Okay. Right. I can give you that, Laura. You legend. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Sorry, this top's irritating me. Right. It's time. Mark. What are we what doing? What we are about to do, you yep. cannot get this deal as a member of staff who gets staff discount. To get this uh, deal, okay. You have to phone up or buy it on the website. 
So, Alison, I know you're watching right now. Any of our other staff members watching right now? Um, what we're about to do has never been done before on such a ridiculous level. We're doing the most significant PR offer on a trilogy of Tanzanite loose gemstones. This is an amazing star buy. screen right now so oh my goodness all of these stones come with a certificate of authenticity we are looking at the most extraordinary stone of tanzanite tanzanite is not coming out of tanzania at the moment at all and um, what has happened is we don't actually know how much is left in the ground it was always believed to be a once in a lifetime uh, sort of a final generation gemstone for us to own firsthand and um, all we know is that a so Basically, when it was discovered, in back in the 1960s, the ground where it was discovered was split into four sections, A, B, C and D. A, completely depleted. B, completely depleted. C, is owned by the Tanzania government. D, tiny mining area, almost depleted. A handful of artisanal, artisanal miners still operate out of there, but they can't. So they have the mine, but they can't even get to it. The government have taken full control and basically no one can go in, no one can come out. This stone is, oh my goodness, at the moment the prices are extraordinary. Now we have a relationship with one of the artisanal miners for this stone. These were bought by the Gemporia group quite some time ago and they are usually for our sister channel Gem Collector. We have them here for our jewellery makers, and if you don't get them today, I, we're putting every, literally, we've got, a, how many have we got? 148 of these offers. 20 have already gone. I'm literally getting covered in goosebumps. We had um, just, un, well, just under 150 of these loose gemstones that have been packaged together to make just shy of 150 trilogy offers. That is it. That is it. All the stones that we have left, just under 450 were left. They've been bundled together to make a trilogy offer, just under 150 trilogy offers. That's all we've got left. Now, you're guaranteed to get the three loose gemstones and I believe are we guaranteeing a minimum carat weight okay so there's three loose stones of this quality because there are a variety that's sort of that's sort of the reason you're getting the deal oh in fact now this Oh, do you know what? So we've got so much access to the industry. It's amazing. Can I just see the call screens? Because if you're tempted by this, it's a PR offer. Put it in your basket now. Absolutely put it in your basket right now. We're going to be going under £40. We're going under 40 In fact, we're going... Can I tell everybody where we're going? No. Um, watch this. Yes. There is, uh, has been a definite dip in the production of Tanzanite and other gemstones in Tanzania. So to answer your question, yes, there is a, it'll become more and more difficult. We've had a new government since October 2015, and the new president decided to clean corruption out of the system because there'd been a lot of smuggling, a lot of free movement of money, so he decided to clean up the system. And so the whole industry has gone through, I guess, uh, chemotherapy, just like a cancer patient. So uh, 
there has been a big uh, dip. Um, it might take a few years for everything to readjust, but right now there is a scarcity. Uh, it is definitely the intent uh, or the intention of the current president. They would like to control uh, the gemstone production and release uh, the gemstones on a trickle basis so as to not uh, dump and uh, spoil the price of gemstones. The industry has absolutely changed, absolutely changed. Now, um, that would be 30 pounds a stone. Oh my goodness, how amazing would that be? Mark, 30 pounds a stone. What do you think to that? Can you look to your left on your little screen? You'll see my name. I've just bought, I've just bought them at 90 quid. Where well, I'm seeing about 20 names down. Yes, there he is, you're above Maria. <laughs> Mark, Mark, I'm, I'm sorry really to throw a spanner in the works. I'm really th sorry to throw a spanner in the works. I'm not sorry, actually. You'll want to up your order to more than one. We've just taken it to 39. We're not staying there. We're not staying there. Oh, no way. I feel really? like I need to put my hand around in front of you to point to the price. I can't. Uh, right, we're not staying there, Mark. Get more than one of these. As my friend, I am telling you to buy more than one of this offer. You get the three stones. As all of my friends out there watching, all of you watching right now, don't just stick at one of these deals. Now, one thing that I always stress when I'm on the show with Jake, I keep saying, why are you going so low? Because we can. Because the question within the jewellery maker industry, without, within our jewellery maker studios, within the Gemporia group of which we're part of, is not how high can we get away with, it's how low can we get away with. And you're going to see that explicitly in this deal. 0800 655. I've just stopped. Yeah, you might want to up again, to be fair. Uh, that one is... Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness! Do you know what? Put it in your basket, put it in your basket, check your baskets out. Mark, you probably want to go more than two. Because we've really? just taken it to an all time lowest ever price for the, this quality. Five pounds a stone, 14.95, five, five pounds what? per ton tonight. Get these valued up your radar. Up your radar. <laughs> what? Up your order. <laughs> Oh my word! Oh my word! I'm loving the fact that Wayne's having a little bit of a moment right now. Oh my lord! <laughs> that is the that is the the craziest deal I have seen in the nearly nine oh, no. years I've been at JM. That's crazy. Oh my lord! Oh my word, this is amazing. If you haven't yet checked out your basket, do it. Do it. Do it. Got over 100 people with those in their baskets. There's five offers left. Wow. That was an attractive face. <laughs> it says sold out on my app. It says so, yeah, it's sold. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Well it's gone. Right, done. okay. Should we do which one next? Oh, some wildfire. Right, Mark, 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 Mark. Wildfire. Tell us about it, Mark. Tell so us about there it. are two Good. types of beading thread that I recommend, well, that I always use when I'm doing my seed beading. And one is wildfire and the other is fireline. Yeah. Um, there, there's not much of a, a difference between the two. Um, so um, which colour have we got here? Got the black. No, that's brilliant. And uh, what gauge is that? That's the... Which pound weight is that, does it say? Can't see. <sighs> Do you know what? I can't see it. That's weird. I think wildfire don't show their breaking point. I think it's the it's the fire line that does. But but this is I think this is your your eight pound. Your point I think six. they're typically around about that, aren't they? Just yes, put it this yeah. way: you're probably not going to be wearing an eight pound necklace. No, that's that's I mean, four bags of sugar. Yes, but not weight that's wise. Four bags of sugar. That's four bags of sugar. Eight pound. I need roughly. to lose off each thigh. Uh, and I <laughs> Nine four copy. I just said that on TV. Uh, Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. 
That's right, really limited stock on this. Um, £7.95, and, pence, and we know full well that some places sell that for more than double. I was looking, my, my mum wants, um, wants quite a bit, and I've been trying to find it in bulk, bulk reel. And um, I can't remember the, 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 the yardage, but I found a reel yesterday of Wildfire for £234. <laughs> So I'm so sorry. I would love to say I was listening to you, Mark, but I wasn't. I was looking, reading Maureen's message. Look at this. Look at a message, Mark. Oh, no. Never cried this much for buying one order. Tons night cry, lol. Oh, bless. I never giggled so much about a price. Maureen. Where? It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh. 795, 795, 795. Let's have a choir moment, please. How much is it, choir? 795. Wow. Mark and Joe, well done. Wayne, Adam, try joining with the rest of the team next time, yeah, as in you're tuning. All right. Uh, okay, let's move on. Oh, this is the green. I've not seen it. Oh, this will go in seconds. This will go quickly. Does anyone else think that code's almost like hobnob? <laughs> yes. I love a hobnob. Not a chocolate one, though. Yeah. Um. I know, you know, you don't like chocolate, but you make your elder fire cordial. <laughs> what do you say it like that? <laughs> There's quite a few people who don't like chocolate, actually. Joe, I've got a friend who's allergic to chocolate. Can you imagine something is so oh, really? harrowing? Oh. Yeah. Wow. But she can have caramac. In fact, she might be watching right really? now. All right, so... Which one, sorry? Can I just say, number four is what Mark was talking about earlier. That fly out. Do that later. OK. Uh, which one, sorry? Thirty. <laughs> right, so if I can just revert your attention back to these items, please. Okay, so these here, Mark has coiled the wire in order to do them. And Mark, am I right in thinking you've done that using the coiling gizmo? I have. I'm so pleased we've got this on the show. But you, it's really limited. Um, yeah, our wire workers, um, I know Laura Binding and Gemma sometimes do their, and Rachel Norris do theirs by hand. But um, life's too short. So, um, yeah, I love my gizmo. And uh, we, we don't have it on the show very often. Sorry, so. life's too short, says the man who's just made 12 bottles of Aldefile Cordial. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but this is brilliant because you get, you get the, um, the bracket as well. So you get everything. Yes, and you get all the different size mandrills. Yeah, it's brilliant. Do you remember when we used to do these, Mark, back in the day? We never yeah. used to have the clamp on them, did we? That's right, you used to have to hold it in your hand. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's got the clamp attached, and then you literally pop these through. You've actually got, you've got the four holes, but you've actually got five different um, gauges of your gizmos. Is and then um, it's 895, it's almost sold out. Oh, it has brilliant. sold out. Well God. done. That's well eight. done, folks. Great, that is a great investment purchase. I need this in my life, I need this for my children. We is this the small those. macrame board? Yeah, the small macrame board. Yeah. I use this in the demo in the 12 o'clock hour. Brill, okay. So you now, can see it in action. Mark, it's safe to say that you have an extraordinary amount of these and I know that you have really stressed over the years it's quite a good idea to have different boards for different materials that you might yeah, create. If you, you need, I, I personally recommend three so one, okay. one for your wire which you just use with the wire then one for your finer threads so your your maybe your your finer eslons and your beading threads and then the second one for your wax cords your satin cords and your power cords and things like that so definitely three. Cool. There you go. I actually was thinking that you were going to say more than that, <laughs> so that threw me a bit. Uh, 6 95 right, 
They've just come back in stock. They're going to sell out again. Six ninety five, and I would definitely buy more than one. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, 30 of these have gone already and they're brilliant oh, no. because you can actually just use it as a normal beading board on the other side. We need one of these in the studio because our macrame boards need yeah. binning. <laughs> and you use it for pearl knotting as well if you're yeah. using the, the, the bead all and the, uh, the T-pins. It's fab. So it's got the little grooves all the way along the top. It's got your measurements down the side and along the top there as well. So these are little centimetre cubes. So you've got your centimetre markings on there. It is brilliant. You can draw on it as well if you want to mm -hmm. really personalise it for yourself. So it's plain on the back. And it is just, it's just a brilliant, brilliant piece. CJZ. X93. A little bit of a queue there on the phone lines, don't worry, we know you're there. But if you can shop on the website, please do so on jewelrymaker.com. CZJX93. So Susie in the Wall of Fame would, would may have used one of these to make that amazing bracelet yes, with the gecko yeah. bead. Yeah. Yeah. It is it's one of those um tools that once you've had it, you won't ever be without it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to go to the demo, actually, Mark's first demo. And, um, Mark, we've got time to go and get a cup of tea and have a look on my Facebook page. Go and have a look at that. Oh, yes. See yes. what you think. Be honest. Um, so, Mark, go and grab your cuppa. Mm -hmm. I'll see you shortly, my darling. Mwah. Bye for now. Bye. And um, I'm going to be really cheeky. Wayne, how many of the bead box have we got? Can we pre-order it? Yes. Okay, so... This is now available on pre-order. The bead box we're going to do after Mark's demo. We've still got all the sphen to do at 11 o'clock, of course. Um, we'll do the bead box, then we'll do the sphen. We've got the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. We've got loads and loads and loads to bring to you. And the Caribbean green amber is coming up at 11 o'clock. So, the bead box, also available for you on pre-order. Get the macrame board. It's at the bottom of the screen. And right now, it's the demo from Mark's first kit. Mark here. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a bit of wire work, predominantly bead caps. On this Rosary Link Lariat that I've recently made, we have two types of bead cap. We have the standalone bead cap for if you're wanting to embellish. As you can see, I've used some little gold plated sterling silver spacer beads. Or we have the all in one wrapped bead cap. So I'm going to show you both of those because they use exactly the same gauge of wire and exactly the same type of tool, okay? So in this necklace I've used 8mm shell pearl, but the technique I'm about to show you, you can replicate for any size bead or any shape bead that you're going to be using. So I'll just pop that to one side a second. So I'm going to be using, as I've just stated, these shell pearl, and for the standalone bead cap I'm going to be using the little gold spacer beads there. So the wire of choice is 8mm, obviously, sorry, 0.8mm in any choice of colour. I've gone for a gold, so it would match the beads really nicely. And tools, you will need a pair of flush cutters or any other wire cutting tool. You will need a pair of round nose pliers and a pair of flat nose. So again, tools that you'll find in your basic toolkit if you've just started making jewellery. So let's get started. So we'll do the standalone bead cap first, which as I said is this one here with the little spacer beads. Okay, so you need to take off of your reel a comfortable amount of wire to work with. So I've taken a piece here which is 20 centimetres long and you will need your round nose pliers first of all to start the bead cap. So we're going to pick up our wire in my left hand in this case and I'm going to take my right my round nose pliers right to the very tip of the plier and also to the tip of the wire of the pliers and I'm just going to simply wrap once so in effect you're making a little eye pin loop so you can see the little circle there and then taking your flat nose pliers we're going to do a closed snail swirl or a scroll and what we're going to do is we're going to count 20 moves. So I'm holding the wire in the plier this time, not through. And I'm going to hold that nicely. I'm just going to go one, two, three. And each time I'm counting, I'm lifting the plier, turning, lifting, grabbing, turning, lifting, grabbing, turning. So it's that motion 
all the time. And it's, it's between 15 and 20 moves, depending on how large you need your bead cap to be. So I'm just going to move and move and move. And if we were bead caging, we would have a couple of millimetres space in between our scrolling, but we want to make a bead cap, so we need it to be nice and tight. So you can see we have a tight swirl. And then we're going to use our flush cutters and we're going to cut nice and tight up against our swirl. Like so. And then we'll make another one. So again, you've got your plenty of wire left. So round those pliers to the end. I'm going to make a letter P, a little eye pin loop. Swap to your flat nose. And then we're going to do our little swirl. So you're holding and turning, letting go, grabbing, turning, and every time you're just moving that snail swirl ever so slightly so you can get that nice little coil. Okay, make sure it's a similar size to the first one we made. That looks perfect. Again, we're going to take our flush cutter pliers and we're going to cut just where the wire meets the coil, like so. So we now have our two coils. So to turn them into caps, what we're going to do is we're going to take our round nose pliers that we've just used to start our swirl and we're going to pop one of the mandrills inside that little loop we've just made and we're just going to manipulate the wire ever so slightly so we get a domed effect that back on so you can you see we get a domed effect so we're going to repeat the same with the second I'm going to pop that in and then we're just going to gradually just manipulate it over the round nose plier don't go too far take your time okay so we have our two bead caps so then we need to choose a wire gauge for our rosary linking of which this is going to be a feature so I've gone for a 0.6 millimeter but if you've um, not rosary linked before, it might be a good idea just to start with a, a 0.4 instead. And I've actually, if you look back on my guest designer jewellery maker page, my Facebook page, I've actually done a, a demo a couple of weeks ago on rosary linking for beginners. So I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm going to make the start of a wrap loop. Again, leave a couple of coils at the beginning. Cut off that little tail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on one of our little gold spacer beads on the end. Then I'm going to pick up one of my coils, domed end first. So I'm going to pop it dome end in. Then I'm going to take one of my shell pearls. And you see it nestles in nice and nice and gently. Then I'm going to take my second dome, but flat side this time. Then I'm going to take my second little gold spacer bead, pop it on the top. And I'm going to slide that down so it meets the wrapped loop that I made earlier. And I'm going to make the second wrapped loop. So again, as I said, if you look back on my guest designer page a couple of weeks ago, you will see the demonstration for the wrapped loops and rosary linking. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that's nice and secure. I'm going to cut off my tail and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with my flat nose pliers and just give these little coils a little squidge just to make sure they're nice and neat and that the uh, little tail isn't too prominent. There we go. And if you wanted to afterwards, because 6mm is quite a malleable, the 0.8 sorry, is quite malleable, you can then go in and just give it a nice little squidge. Okay, so that's the standalone bead caps. Now for the second demonstration, I'm going to show you how we make the all-in-one wrap, which is this one here. So you can see here that there's no spacer bead embellishing at all. It's, it's a simple one piece. So for that, again, we're going to need a similar length piece of wire, about 20 centimeters. And again, this is your 0.8. You could probably do this with one millimetre if you wanted to, if you, if you had quite larger beads, but obviously your, your swirls would be 
a lot larger. So for this what we're going to do is we're going to probably go about halfway down and we're going to make, you see about halfway down, maybe a bit, probably two thirds of the way, like so. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little letter P. So you can see we've got a letter P with a right angle. So that, that's about six centimetres, that little working tail. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our bead and we're going to slide it onto the wire, like so. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure that that, what I tend to do is take this piece of wire and I take it round the back so it's not interfering with anything I'm doing. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to do the same. So I'm going to place my pliers in and I'm going to do a letter P. Bring that across. Okay, so we have, if you can see, we have the two pieces of wire. They look like little ears at this point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to hold, these are my flat nose pliers, I'm going to hold the loop nice and tight. I'm just going to move that little tail out of the way there. And I'm going to take this long tail, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it around the bead, but instead of making a wrapped loop and making a coil, I'm just going to make sure that the wire sits nice and gently above the row before. So can you see it's slowly making a little bead cap? on the top. Can you see? I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same with the other side. So hold on to that loop nice and tight. And I'm going to take this shorter wire and I'm going to do the same. So I'm just going to let's move that out of the way a little bit. You can cut this off if you want to. I'm just going to take that little piece of wire and I'm going to go round, keeping it nice and neat up against the wire that we've that we placed on the bead before. Okay, and I'm just going to flip it round and just reposition our little loop. And then I can go in then with my flush cutter pliers and cut off my excess. And I'd go in and give it a squidge. And I'll do the same on this side, making sure that your bead caps are the same size. You can go in and give it a little cut. Just make sure that's nice and neat. Okay, so that's your bead cap, the second version. Now if you wanted to, you could also elongate your wrap loops either end. So I'll quickly show you once more. So we've got our piece of wire, our 20 centimetres, about two thirds from one end, but this time we're going to do a full wrapped loop. So we've got our right angle, I'm going to hold on to that loop with my flat nose pliers, and I'm going to do a little coil. Let's do two, so that's one and two. So can you see the difference? So this one will have a little wrap loop at the beginning of it, Whereas the one I've just made goes straight into the loop and into the into the uh, the bead cap. Then we go into our long piece of wire. We pop on our pearl. Again, I'm going to turn it away from me, so I've got that little short piece of wire in my fingers. Turn it away. I'm going to take my pliers, my round nose pliers. Again, leave the same amount of space in between the bead and your pliers to take the coil. I'm going to take that round, flip it over, hold on to the coil, and I'm just going to make our little wrapped loop. Now if you do two either side, you'll notice this time that our two wires are opposite each other, which will make it a bit easier to do your coiling. So I'll stay on this longer piece of wire, so I've, I'm going to move that out of the way ever so slowly, and I'm just going to take this wire, and I'm just going to slowly wrap directly underneath the wrap previously. Go round and round and round. And I'm going to stop there. 
Okay, so you can see it's a nice even bead cap. In fact, let's cut it off. It won't be in the way then. So I'm just going to go in and cut it off. And then just give it a little squidge. Then we'll do the same with the second side. So I'm going to hold with my flat nose pliers. I'm just going to take that tail and I'm just going to wrap it around underneath, directly underneath the wire before it, flip it over. And again, make sure that you cut off your little end at the bottom and then we'll go in and give it a little squidge. Okay, so we've actually got three different types of bead cap there. So we've got our standalone, so you have to do those separately to incorporate a little bead. Then we've got our non-wrapped loop bead cap. And then we have our wrapped loop bead cap. So three different types of bead cap. And as you can see on the necklace I've made, I've just rosary linked with a plain shell pearl in between the embellished, just to add a bit of, a bit of length and a bit of decor. So I hope you found that demonstration useful. So you've got three different ways of making your own bead caps. And as I said, depending on the size of the bead, you determine how many of the wraps and the length of wire that you will have to get from your stash. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll look forward to sharing more demonstrations with you soon. Bye bye. I know, Mark. I'm really cool, aren't I? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I've just watched your little your little thing, and uh, the big thing I got out of it was, you are enough as you are today. So I'm going to, I'm going to take that to heart, I think. And the last little snippet about making time for yourself and and. Uh, and finding something that's a pleasure. Because we, we never do that. We, I always make a job list, but I never put anything on that's, that's a pleasurable thing to do. So I'm going to start doing that. Just, just one thing a day to start. Yeah. And I think that will make a difference. Yeah. It will, because your mental so, yeah, health thanks, is... Thank you for that. I'm going to watch it again after the show. And that's take right. She's video. got quite a few good little snippets. So um, yeah. if you've just, um, just tuned in, basically, I was saying on my presenter page, I've put a link. It's just to help good... Can you hear those racers? <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, I've just put a thing on that could just help us through. Mm. And not even just help us through this time, but I think it's quite good practice for good mental health for life. Mm. So um, if it helps yeah. anyone, yeah. that'll be really cool. You can find it on my presenter page, which is Lucy Nichols Presenter. And please like it while you are there. Thanks. Have a look at this. Right, Mark, why is it that you love beatboxes so much? Well, I just think they're fantastic because you get an amazing bundle and you get storage all in one little deal. It, it can't be better, can it? Mm -mm. I, think it's I think they're brilliant. Oh, these and boxes this... are so cool as well. Let's put the clock on screen. Well, in the system, we can't put it on screen because you're there, Mark. Um, this is giving you a minute's clock to jump on the phone lines if you haven't yet done so. It flew out yesterday. I love these. You've got your Dalmatian Jasper. I'm questioning what this gemstone is now. It is black obsidian. The value on this is amazing. Black obsidian. You've got your... Just bear with me. Can I... Uh, oh, I'll get the specifications in just a moment. The 4, the 6 and the 8 millimetre. Then you've got oh, 4, God. 6 and 10 in the Dalmatian Jasper. Oh, I love them! These look amazing. Um with really on-trend jewellery at the moment because animal print is everywhere. 
Are you ready, folks? This is amazing. And with your storage, by the way, you can change it around to suit your requirements because it slides out and you pop it wherever you need it to go. Ready? Graphics coming on screen. Get ready to put this into your basket if you haven't yet done so. About a third of the stock's already gone on pre-order. Was that right? Okay, here we go. So four, six and eight on the Black Obsidian. And um, four, six and ten on the Dalmatian Jasper. They're 38 centimetres each strand. 40 carats in the 4 mil black obsidian, 90 carats in the 6 mil obsidian, 155 carats in the 8 mil obsidian, 40 carats in the 4 mil Dalmatian Jasper, 6 millimetres in the 90 carats of Dalmatian Jasper, and the 10 millimetres, 290 carats of Dalmatian what? Jasper. TSP094, can I see the call screens, please, Wayne? Here we go, we've got loads of people, loads of people getting it now. It should be, and tomorrow morning, at 8 o'clock in the morning, it'll be 39.95, which for six strands of genuine natural gemstones, and they're all natural, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. It's basically like six pounds a strand and then five pounds for the box, isn't it, really? Sorry, five, yeah, four pounds for the box. Six pounds a strand and four pounds for the box. Be great. How about we go so ridiculously low? Good. It is still the morning. A good morning, everybody. It's only quarter past ten. I've been up since five. <laughs> TSP 094 1995. Wow. The choir, please. How much it is? 1995. Thank you. I'm glad you all resumed that for me because I made a complete zzzlof of it. Uh, well done, Christine, <laughs> Edith, Deborah, and lots of anonymous shoppers, Debbie, and Karen, and Shan, loads. That's loads brilliant. and loads and loads of you there. That's amazing. Yeah. 20 pounds. That's it. 19.95 and only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. We've had lots of new people join us for the very first time today. The warmest of welcome. We will send you a complimentary DVD and two genuine gemstone strands with your first purchase to uh, get you started and give you a big warm welcome. Yeah. TSP094. Well done, folks. I hope we get to see a lot more of these bead boxes again because they, they were a firm favourite with the viewers. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, we've got messages coming in. Dorothy, hi Lucy, Mark and the crew. Lucy have just subscribed to her YouTube site. Uh, thank you, Dorothy in West Midlands. Dorothy, I would just like to reiterate, I um, haven't, I'm not like, it's not like a paid advert, it's not affiliated to Jewelry Maker in any way, but hopefully, yeah, if, um, if it helps. Yeah. Um, so lovely watching Mark's demos, he explains so well and is such a lovely gent. Thank you from Dee in you. Hampshire. You do. I had, a, I had a lovely comment off of a viewer a couple of weeks ago on my Facebook page saying that whenever a demo comes on screen, she records it and she plays it back to her child to get. <laughs> I don't know. I, had, I think it was a compliment because the, my, apparently I had a soothing voice and it sent her child to sleep. <laughs> Are you boring, Mark? Is that what she's saying? <laughs> Are you actually just a bit boring? <laughs> I think, yeah. And that, she said I had a really nice storytelling voice. So doing a, a taped book or something like that would be quite fun. Um, I might utilise that skill of yours then. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I'm struggling to sleep myself at the moment. So I might just start playing out your demos and uh, seeing if it send me <laughs> off as well. And that'll make you drop off within seconds, yeah. <laughs> Susan says, thank you, Mark. Brilliant. Pleasure, pleasure. Hi, GM team and Mark. Please, please, can you let me know how to do the herringbone around the pearl? That's from Sharon in Somerset. If you go back on my guest designer page, I think it was two weeks ago, um, I demonstrate it from start to finish. So it's already on my guest, book, on my guest designer page in the little go, video Sharon. snippets. It's on there. Let us know if you uh, need any help with that. You should be cool. Mm. Hi, gang. Hi, Ross, darling. What time are you playing the turquoise cabs? Coming up within this hour. I know, I know, you're a massive fan of turquoise. I know, my darling. Um, morning all, morning, Catherine, my darling. Mark, that was a wonderful demo, concise and Thank clear. Thank you. Lucy, you're, a, as always, looking fab, such a delightful lady. I've been oh. called a lady and you've been called a gent. We're seriously giving up yes. the wrong image here, Mark. <laughs> But thank you, everybody. <laughs> no, that's very lovely. Thank you. Um, 
Anne and Edith, and I've got loads of people who haven't yet checked out the baskets. How many got left of these then, uh, Wayne? Hmm. Left? Oh, wow, okay. I'm going to have to be quick on this one, folks. It is an amazing price. And remember, tomorrow morning, that goes back up to 39.95. Grab it while you can. TSPO94. Well done, well done, well done. Now, we've got Mark's set, second kit coming up at 12 o'clock. Should we have a little, um, little brief meander through Mark's second kit again? So this is coming up a bit later. I know lots of people want us to bring it forward, but it, it will be at 12 o'clock. Yes. Works out. Oh, sorry, folks. Just dropped a strand. Um, this deal works out £2.85 an item. This is crazily low. Are you really going to let that deal slip you by? How many boxes would you need for a Marla necklace? You'd only need one if you were graduating in size, wouldn't you? That'd be enough, I think. Would there? Depends yeah. whether you wanted to, if you wanted to, um, to have the same size. But I think you've got enough there to do one full necklace with one box. But obviously, you'd graduate small to large. Or yeah, I love that. I love these. I love it. It's really cool. It's fabulous. You do need 108 beads, don't you, for a Marla mm. necklace? Yeah, yeah. Easily done. 0800 655. You're looking at approximately 38 on the strand of the large Dalmatian Jasper. So, and you need 108 beads. So it depends. It depends how you want to do it, and if you want to graduate it, you would be able to do one, a whole complete one. Well, Mark's designs are amazing and he is so modest about his marvellous skills, says Dee in Hampshire. <laughs> Thank you, Dee. That's very kind. You think Thank that, you. Dee, but before he comes on screen, we have to roll out the red carpet <laughs> and, you know, um, like pamper him, peel his grapes. I'm joking. Oh, it's like the old days, Mark and Lucy on the Sunday, on a Sunday with a beatbox brill. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you all for JM. Um, oh, for keeping JM going and stay safe, I think it says. Hiya, any other beatboxes coming up next week? Julie, when would that be, Wayne? Today? Oh, we think it might be on the mid-show today. We'll have a little look for you. Um, thank you all, keeping JM going. Uh, stay safe, every one of you. Oh, Aileen, thank you, my darling. Yeah, a beatbox on the Sunday. You know what we're missing, though? Elevens is. Oh, That's yeah. missing. Yeah. It's a Sunday morning yeah. and I haven't got cake. Mm. Uh, okay. Which one are we going to go to? My mum phoned me in the break again after that amber. <laughs> is she you turning, is, she, she, is your mum becoming you coming your diva? Yeah. She said she hadn't forgotten. I, I tried to get it, but um, but as I, I, I said, I'll try, but we only have 44. That's the problem. It, it is extraordinary. Mm. There's. Um, yeah. It's at 11 o'clock. We're launching the Caribbean green mm. amber. And basically it can come, I've got lots to tell you about it. We're gonna do that at 11 o'clock. It, um, it will blow you away. It will blow you away. Mm. <sighs> oh, and which so one are we, is that, yeah. Um, we're totally blown away by the calibre of this Sveen. This one. Oh, look. Hang on. This, today, is your PR office star by.
Um, Mark, mm -hmm. you have purchased Sveen pieces of jewellery, have. haven't you? Can we have a little look at them? Because you gave yeah. me a little bit of a heads yeah. up before. These, these, I think every single person that has been on any of my workshops that we've been holding at JM Towers has seen these because I'm so proud of them. I don't wear them, but I, I'm just, I just love Sveen. So this is... This is the first, this is a single stone. I think this was a carrot, I'm not sure. I think it was just a carrot, so you can see. You have to tell me if I'm too close to the camera. Yeah. So that's uh, slightly, no, so I go back. I, I'm going to take direction from our director, funny enough. I go back a little bit, I go back a bit. No, you think she can that, go closer? So that's the, um, that's the single stone, which is wow. just, I mean, out in the sunshine, it, it beats diamond any day. For, it has for double the, the fire of a diamond. Yeah. And then this this is probably the ring I'm most proud of that I own. I don't, I don't wear any of these, but I just I just love. Can you see the sparkle and the colours coming through on that? This is this is the trilogy ring, and I think this I think this is about a carrot and a half, two carrots. That's actually giving me goosebumps. It's it's so beautiful and outside in the sunshine, it is and gorgeous. And that's it. These stones in yeah. different lights. This incredible, precious material is oh. so, amazing. I swear on everything dear to me that if this doesn't go today obviously it will <laughs> but if that wasn't to sell today my producer Wayne would buy this in a flash did you say what What's he doing? I can't, I can't. We should be watching. Oh, I could cry. This is. Look at this. Should we bring the graphics in straight away, Wayne? Because there's only this one. That's huge. Yeah, it is. It's the most. So Wayne and I oh. have both worked in the highest end of the jewellery industry for a number of years. Um, and, and this is the best we've ever seen. So, you know, I, I've, oh, that's it. It's Ambelobi as well, isn't it? I mean, that's the, the finest. It is, literally. If you are going to buy, so anyone who is, say you are a billionaire, <laughs> Money is no object, and you get told you can buy any type of sphene that you can afford, you'd buy this variety. This is the one, mm. this is the yeah. type to own. Can I see the call screens, please, Wayne? There's so many people wanting it. Right, we're going to take it straight down. This is, there's only this one. If this, this is the exact one you're going to be receiving. I think it's gone. Do you know what? It, it, we think it's just gone. We could have taken that to four hundred and fifty pounds, and it's gone. And but we always do it for the lowest price we can get away with, the lowest price, and you've got it, and it's gone to North Yorkshire. Oh, well done! Oh, you lucky thing! <laughs> How has that just well, happened? I'm, I'm so jealous. Wayne, can you see that on the system? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Which one next? Gosh. Okay. Are they, are they all going to be single quantities? No, but low. Okay. Um, okay, so I've got a big... How many of these have I got? Okay, I've got four of this one. You're looking at a gemstone that has double the fire, um, it, double the dispersion of a diamond. So it is a stone which, when you get this out, you know, it's such a shame that we have, can't take a camera outside into the gardens right now. Because honestly, with the... Oh, this is... Oh, I had to check that the aircon wasn't on then because I'm literally covered in goosebumps, but it is my reaction to the stone. Oh my word, look at the colour in that. Mm. Look at this. Can I 
to see the call screen again, but do you know what? Got Wayne has actually just blasphemed because he knows he's not going to get it now. PYUP56. That is so exquisite. Isn't it? I mean, get this valued. Absolutely get it valued. They will come to you with a certificate of authenticity. And remember, we have got a direct relationship with the mine. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> this is the last, these are the last two in the world of this cut. This is from the Ambilobi Madagascar mine. Wow. There's, right, we've got this one left. I've got quite a few people wanting the final one. Wayne, what do you think about the green amber with this? It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? The value would just fly up for both items, wouldn't it? Mark, would you work the two together? Oh, definitely. They're not far off, actually, the colour. No. They're not far off. Different, um, different way that it plays around with the light, but the, mm. that colour is amazing. Now, that's sold out. Do you know, I was really nervous about doing these today. Which one, sorry? Which one? This is electric! <gasps> oh my word, it is a calibrated round. It's, well, it's, it's a round, so you'd expect it to be calibrated. Um, it's... Oh my word, oh my word, oh flipping heck, look at the colour and the cut of it. Have you seen the faceting on the back of this stone? Ready, 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 I'm going to turn it that way. Ready, look at the faceting there. Look at the quality of that lapidary work. Okay, are you, oh my word, it's straight down at 90 pounds and 95 pence. Okay, we're not staying there. Well. <gasps> right, Mark, get on the line now. <laughs> Come on, lad. <laughs> 24. It's 24. It's 24.95 if you do your Argentium. Now, I've, I've stressed this as well, that when life can resume back to when we can run workshops again, I am personally um, making sure, and I've discussed it with Mark Jackson, our managing director, we are going to be doing workshops that are specifically about set, setting your high-end stones because I don't want you to be sat around with all these stones and not know what to do with them. Okay, um, the only reason we're doing this is because Jake has done the deal. These are not normal prices. Jake has done the deals on these with the mine. Okay, which one next? Hang on, which one I've got? Yeah. Now I've got another one there. Yeah. A 1.7. Yeah. Okay, so... We're going to go back up to a higher carrot weight, higher carrot weight, higher price, and then we've got a 0.9 as well. So if you're in, the, oh my word, have you seen the golden tone? This is a really golden hue with this still the, and you get your certificate of, I can't even talk. This is amazing. Oh, right, I've only got three. Oh, 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 oh. Remember, we've got the Caribbean. Oh, amber, yeah? I know, this show's amazing. This show is amazing. No wonder you're palpitating, Wayne. Oh, flipping heck. First one's gone, but you're not going to pay that price, Kathleen. Oh, Kathleen, you might want more than one. I'd get the three of these, make a sweet, make a sweet. Can you imagine the value on that? Oh, my word. Okay, there's only two of these left. I'd, oh, if you can afford all three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, flipping heck. No, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Gosh. Now, can I just say that this 90.1, it's sat in the plastic covering right now, it's upside down, and I am being blinded by the light. Oh, look at, can, can you see if you can pick up on that fire dispersion from that camera angle? And do, do you know what, if, it, if you can't, that I wouldn't expect you to, um, but... Hello, hello. Look, that's in the plastic, upside down. Look at the quantity. <laughs> I want every single, before we drop the price, I want every single person who wants it to take a chance and call up right now. Or put it in your basket. Do it right now. Could I see the call screens, please? <laughs> mm. 
and you put, oh, look at the fire. No, no, now it's out of the plastic. Look at the fire. Look at that. Oh, flipping heck, the value in this. Now, um, with... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my word! Oh, by the way, we're going lower. Yeah, we're going lower. Of course, we're going lower. Shouldn't, yeah. <laughs> Be tempted to set it that way around, you know. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Mark. That's extraordinary, isn't it? We need to get more of this on the show. Yeah, well, you know what? We're not going to be able to get it at that price. Not Gosh, see the, see the colours glistening from the base there? Wow. No. <laughs> 1995. And check out, and do you know, get three, get three, and then you can do earrings and a pendant. Four, and get a ring. If you could do a whole suite, earrings, pendant, ring, flipping neck, and then get that valued. Four, for, and you'd, have, you'd be able to do all of that for less than £80. Wow. I've got eight, that's it, that's eight, that's it. I'm going to do the Sleeping Booty... Um, <coughs> Caps on in, imminently. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Oh. I saw flashes of green and red. And yeah, yeah, you will. And remember, this is studio light, so it looks rubbish in the studio lights. It, it does. So if you think that looks good, you just wait yes, till you yeah. get that outside. Every sphene that you have seen. Hey, I saw that out. I need to start going, hey. That's what my brother does. It's really <laughs> irritating. It has to be Sveen. To be believed. Where's your brother living now? He is... Where does he fall into? Just outside Windsor. Oh, OK. Because yeah. he was in Kuala Lumpur, wasn't he? Was he was in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. 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 Um, oh. Gosh, he's lived all over the world. Mm. Right now, he's now in Windsor because right. he has wife and child. And a hundred frogs. A hundred frogs? Yes. Yeah. So they've basically moved houses quite recently. Um, can I just say, though, on that, huge congratulations on that, Sveen, folks. We're just going to wait for the last one to check out. Um, once again, Sveen and gone. Woohoo, <laughs> Liz! <laughs> what? Love you. Uh, I love Sveen. The fire in it is amazing. Such a lovely summary. So it's one for. Uh, mm. Isn't it? Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm loving the show. I'm waiting for Mark's kit at midday now. Love to you all. Sharon, that kit's stunning. It is stunning. If you've just tuned in, should we have a quick look at the kit? Uh, so basically, yeah, my brother moved house and um, he, they've got a pond in their garden. Uh, okay. And because they've got a little girl who's one and a half, they wanted to change the pond out. Not fill it in, but make it really safe. So put like a mm. whole gated area around it and stuff. So they decided to drain the pond, clean it all out. And they were looking after it was full. They thought they had a few frogs. Oh my goodness. They counted how many frogs. There were bang on 100 exactly. And the gross thing oh, is oh. that at night, when it's then dusk, they all come out of the pond onto the patio to eat bugs. So the whole <laughs> patio out their back door is full of frogs. And they've got oh, puppies, so the puppy's like loving it. But he gets sort of terrified at the same time. So yes, there you go. My brother is living with a puppy, 100 frogs, his wife and daughter, just outside Windsor. There we go. <laughs> now let's have a look at my jewellery quickly here. This is going to be featured at 12 o'clock. It's the most amazing kit. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Right now, now Ross in Warwickshire, one of my regulars and one of the biggest fans of turquoise. It's time for the Sleeping Beauty Cabochon.
Okay, so you need this. Um, you categorically have to have it. It is the Lucy Law, and um, it's amazing. It is huge <laughs> it's absolutely huge it's an 18 by 13 millimeter exact 18 by 13 millimeter genuine sleeping beauty turquoise now for those of you who don't know flipping egg sleeping beauty is the most prized and sought after turquoise on the planet um the wow. mindset is empty the mine <laughs> is empty there is no more to come out of the mine this is it no more if any more comes um, available, it's, it's already been in circulation. It would not be a first-time gemstone. Now, we have got um, just a quick clip um, with our gemstone investor, Jake's friend, Mario, who is his family own the mine. Have a look at this. Hello, everyone. I'm here from the Valley of the Sun, Scottsdale, Arizona the place of the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. The mine is situated a few hours from north from Scottsdale. Uh, that's the reason why I moved my family from uh, Italy to here. Um, my family story, it's uh, kind of a long story. I'm the third generation of cutting uh, uh, turquoise and Mediterranean coral. So um, my father came here 40 years ago to buy uh, one bucket of turquoise from Globe, Arizona and since then we never stopped to cut this beautiful stone um, obviously uh, four years ago the mine closed and uh, since then there's been a big lack of this beautiful stone on the market because everybody wanted to have a piece of it it's the most beautiful american stone in the world very well appreciated in europe in uh, asia japan china and of course here in the united states and uh, uh, England uh, since the mine closed the price uh, got crazy you know it started to raise every month more 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 until the end it was almost impossible to buy the the, the last of it uh, the only reason today we're still here selling Sleeping Beauty is because uh, uh, the owner of the mine the guy the man that uh, mined this uh, beautiful stone for 47 years he obviously uh, you know kept his treasure he didn't want to sell it he kept it but finally after everybody was gone including me including my family even though we cut thousands and thousands of, uh, of pounds of this beautiful stone he came out with this treasure so I was able to uh, get a little bit more and uh, and that's the reason why today we're able to um, we're still able to, to present uh, the stone that I always say the lucky stone the blue stone, the lucky stone from the sky. Thank you very much. Vediamo se va bene. Okay, I've got limited stock of this. How exciting. So he his family own the mine and there is no more turquoise to come out of the ground. Now the reason it's called the Sleeping Beauty Mine, have you seen the picture? Have we still got the picture of the system. Um basically it looks like the profile of Sleeping Beauty. Asleep. And it is it's amazing. Um, I saw it in person in 1999 and I was really fortunate I bought a piece of um, turquoise jewellery from it there right at the side, pretty much at the side of the road to be fair. Um, we're going to put a clock on in the system. We've only got 12 of these. This is extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary. Do you know I'd love to know if the Queen's turquoise is Sleeping Beauty. That brooch that she had on for when she did the speech. Oh, Wayne's just going to send her a text now, find out. All right, Liz. <laughs> oh, 800 644 Look at the size of that. I mean, I keep popping it there, but can you imagine that as a pendant? I'd want it as a ring, though, because I'd want to be able to see it. Yeah, with gallery wire. Mark, what would you be doing with this? Gosh. I think, I think again, some sort of ring. You'd, you want to see it, or, or a bracelet. Just, just wire wrap set on a bracelet. Mm. I think because you want to see, you want to see it, wouldn't you, all the time? Yes, 
absolutely would. And um, now, cool. interestingly enough, we are featuring Amber on the show today, and our Amber suppliers have actually asked if they could work with us with the turquoise to source uh -huh. it because they love our source of turquoise so much, the Sleeping Beauty. And we're like, no, and we can't, not because we don't want to, but there's no more Sleeping Beauty turquoise left. Could I see the call screens, please? Um, but just to give you a little bit of a heads up on that, let me show this to you. Oh, <laughs> okay, the price is coming on screen, folks. I'm so sorry if you miss out. Oh, oh my goodness, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. BJU P37. It is just, it's that size for 94.95. It's a case of first come, first serve. Lynn, you've got two. Well done. Kathleen, you've got it. Ross, you've got it. Go, girl. Um, Debbie, Maria, I've got Diana. I've got so many people there wanting it. It's a case of first come, first serve to check out their baskets for this quality. And again, from the 15th of June, you will be able to get valuations again with the restrictions being lifted as it stands at the moment. I would get that valued. I don't even think you need to set it into jewellery to get that valued. The quality, and you will get, of course, get your certificate of uh, authenticity to prove that that is the Sleeping Beauty turquoise and that is the where the, the wow factor sits within this piece. And it is wow. It's absolutely massive. And Joe, by the way, is behind the camera right now going, wow, wow, isn't it? Isn't it? It genuinely is wow. And we've all worked with gemstones for a long, long time. And it's still got the wow factor. Okay. Let's do... Oh, this is, oh my goodness, the colour of this is gorgeous. Oh, the colour of this is gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> oh, I need this in my life. Oh, that is, oh. Right, 12 people are going to get it in their lives. Oh, yeah, I've got earrings. Earrings. is oh isn't it wow go on mark you get sent this what do you do that's beautiful isn't it this i would i would um i would pop onto to backing foundation and do some sort of beaded big necklace and i'd probably go with sort of reds and vivid magentas you know really mm. make a big contrast with it can you imagine if you do that with a few mm, wow <laughs> It's a real Hannah Osborne colour, isn't it, I think? Yes. You see, pop, just I'm thinking, a few in a big, almost yeah, tribal-inspired... Yeah. Ah, oh, we're going straight down. Um, OK, we're at 49.95. I have to think of... Have I ever done Sleeping Beauty cabbage on that low before? Flipping heck. Go for it, everybody. That is just utterly, utterly, utterly beautiful. Utterly beautiful. I really want a necklace now. Oh. It doesn't want to be cuddled that way. I'll have to do it like that, I'm afraid. Absolutely exquisite. Wow, what bargains today. Love JM, loving the top. Lucy, where did you get it from, please? Ivana got it from Asda, and I think it was last year. It might have even been the year before. That boutique known as George. <laughs> I think it was. I'll check my label in a minute, but yeah. Thank you, Sunning, says Roz. It is, it is. Roz, you got the big one, didn't you? as the centerpiece of a bangle. Gorgeousness indeed. Mm. Oh Liz, I'm loving your lingo. Gorgeousness of gorgeousness. I've got five left. Right, I've got five left. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I've got five left. It's only 49 95 and it's a Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Um, we have got a couple of those left. We have. The one that was on the desk. Okay. Oh my word, it's a 9 mil. Perfect. It's a perfect round. It's perfect. 
Oh, it's an oh, precious <laughs> HD C one two six ninety nine ninety five. No, no. Oh my goodness. Oh, Mark, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You get two for earrings, wouldn't you, and have a set with the pair? I would have thought. And a pendant and a ring. Mm. I get four. And then I get it valued. Because the thing is, getting four yeah. and you go, well, £200 for four. Yeah. You then get that set valued. Flips. Sleeping Beauty, always certificates of authenticity. This is amazing. Well done. I've got so many people there with it in the baskets. We just need you to check your baskets out. Well done, everybody. Free phone number 0800 644 Stunning, absolutely stunning. So Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, you cannot get this stone out of the mine anymore. HDC 126, well done Maria, my darling. Lynn, make sure you're checking out there, my lovely. This is a final opportunity. These all go today, that is it. The last ones in the business. And remember, when you're watching the morning shows, you're used to seeing quantities of a few hundred I mean, we're literally looking at quantities for less than 20 of Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. Three more of those available. Lots of people with it in the baskets. Good luck, everybody. It's going to be the first people to check out or indeed press that option one on the phone lines. Number six. Oh, that, I like this cut. I don't think... I don't know if I've done turquoise in this cup before. Cushion cup. Cushion cup screams ring for me. Look at this. Again, you get your certificate of authenticity. Oh, I can't wait to get my nails manicured. <laughs> I need a nail technician. Uh, CZ C17, CI71, 49.95, and that's over two carrots on that one. That's really, really impressive. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, you and I had a, um, a Swarovski clearance show? Yeah. And do you remember we had a, a Swarovski shape very similar to this in a cushion? And I was talking about the fact then that I really like that cushion cut for, mm. for, for bezeling. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Mm. Would that automatically be a ring for you or centerpiece? I think so. Or, yeah. yeah. Or, or a middle of a bracelet. Yeah, I am enamoured by this design. So I do like the idea of, oh, that bracelet's gorgeous, of setting the turquoise just as a single oh, piece yes. in a bangle. Yeah. Yeah, stunning. I'd have to have it in silver. Sterling silver wire. With gallery wire around it to hold it together. Oh, yeah. Oh, With yes. the, um, the pieces of jewellery that I've made for the green amber, I've used sterling on all of that. Yeah, which is possibly why Laura is desperate to steal it. Oh, right. <laughs> Not making any bones about it, are we, Laura? No. Nope. nope. Quite obviously, quite honestly, going to steal the jewellery. Yeah. Got to watch that, Laura. <laughs> there she is. Are you all right now, Laura? Can I tell everybody why you weren't all right earlier? Adam had to come to the rescue. Yeah. There was a very, very large spider. And she was like, are you there? Have you seen it? Yeah. Has it? Has it gone? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> right now, though, it is. Start by, and every single one of you has to get this deal. It's going to be awesome. You need this in your life, you need this in your life, not only if you make jewellery, but if you have jewellery at home. Mark, how many of these tarnished prevention bags have you got? Oh my god, masses. And we use, <laughs> where Andrew collects, well, he doesn't collect, people buy him for presents. 
he likes really ornate old um, sort of George the Third, Georgian silver things for the dinner table at Christmas. So um, mm. little mustard dishes and little silver spoons and all little bits of, of, of cutlery and things like that. And we keep all of that, all of that in these bags, oh, just that's just so to cute. stop them from tarnishing. So um, so he's he, he's got a lot of these. And then obviously, um, what I tend to do as well, and you're probably not going to like this, <laughs> is I cut them up and use them as anti-tarnish tags. Does that work? Yes, yeah. I do like it then. Yeah. Because <laughs> that, for me, makes these even more of a bargain. You know what I'm yeah, like, I'm a sucker for a bargain. But and no, the like large with... ones are really good for, for small items of cutlery and then um, jewellery for the other smaller ones. They're, they're brilliant. They're really cool. So you're going to get, and if you think value for money for longevity and then not having to anti constantly clean mm. your mm. silver or anything that's yeah. tarnishing... Five pounds and ninety-five pence for ten, four wow. by six, and they're always flying out, and they are flying out now. I've got people seriously multi buying. We've got a good quantity of these. Take advantage of them, folks. And as much as we've got a good quantity, flipping it, they're going quick. That's brilliant. That is fab, isn't it? Because you can get your necklaces in there. I think it's quite a good mm. selling point as well. You know, because this is precious silver, we will include a little anti-tarnish bag to help the longevity of the metal. That's cool, brilliant. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And, and market it as free of charge and uh, yeah. incorporate it yeah. in the price of the jewellery. Absolutely. Yeah, just have a little sign at your craft fair. Mm. Craft fairs can start again. Open air can start tomorrow. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Open air. Um, so tomorrow is car lots and markets and outdoor. Right. Fairs, craft fairs, etc. Uh, okay, um, well. Because it falls into the category of markets, as long yeah. as it's outdoor. And yeah. then indoor resumes on the 15th of June. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, all types but of But still retail. with all the, the two metre distance rules and all yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, there'll have to be yeah, massive, obviously, social distancing. And um, I'm sure there will be lots of advice on the government websites about mm. if you are having your shop or your store, what you need to do. Yes, yeah. Um, whether you have to wear uh, a mask if you need to have antibacterial for your customers. I, I, I don't know. I don't mm. know. It's something I'm going to uh, look at so we can talk about it perhaps on the show yeah. next week. Uh, 5.95 on these, though. That is a great... That's ace. It is a great element. Mm. I love these bags and put one in with everything I sell. There you go. Oh, there we June are. June does it. <laughs> Brilliant. I think also, as well, if your jewellery's going to... Um, Sorry, what was that? Oh, Kaylee, there isn't, my darling. Kaylee was asking if there's any more Sleeping Beauty. There's a couple of the cabochons remaining. They're on the website if you want to take a look at the stock that's still remaining, but there isn't any more um, to bring to air uh, at the moment. So, um, what was I saying about those? Yeah, because I think if you're selling your jewellery and, you know, if in two years down the line you've been able to make sure that it hasn't tarnished by providing mm. one of these... That's going to make you look better two years down the line. And somebody might just keep coming to you time and time again for commissions. And to be, you know, I've, it's how lovely to, to hook up with families and become their family jeweller and the go-to. And then they tell their friends about how much they like your jewellery. And you start getting commissions on a regular basis. And, you know, every birthday you get a commission from them. Or, mm. Yeah, Lovely. I think it's all Absolutely. part of your reputation. But also yeah. for your own purpose and your own jewellery. Maybe not even jewellery that you've made. Maybe just sterling silver jewellery that you've got at home or any, any jewellery that you don't yeah. want to tarnish. Four ninety five. dollars <laughs> You two and your little conversations. What? Since when do you collect coins? I don't believe you. Prove it. You're going to take a picture of your coin collection when you get home. Is that Wayne? Yeah. Yeah, he collects coins. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I feel like... I feel like you've been cheating on me all these years and I've never known this. <laughs> He's a numismatist. So, what coins do you still need? You've got them all. Hang 
Simon, you've got every coin in the UK in circulation. So whenever they've released a new one, you've got it. You're signed up, so when a new one comes out, they just send it to you. Well, that's boring. Aren't you supposed to go foraging? <laughs> Have you got all the Beatrix Potter ones? Have you? I missed out on those. Can I buy them from you? He hasn't got the duck. <laughs> he swapped the duck. For what? For an offside 50p. <laughs> Let's go to a break. My head's boggled. <laughs> My brain's like frazzled by that. Right, we're going to go to a break. When we come back, though, we're going on a journey to somewhere that I'm desperate to go. We're going to go and find some amber in the Caribbean. Jewelry makers, on Sunday, Lucy has got something so exclusive for you. Never, ever seen before on Jewelry Maker from the Caribbean, green amber. There's only a very, very limited amount, so you need to make sure you're tuning in on Sunday for the deal of the day. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Hello jewellery makers, Eleanor Stevens here, one of your long-standing presenters. Now um, I've got some exciting news with all the craziness that has been going on. I've been off your screens for quite some time and I've missed you so, so, so much. But I will be returning on the 1st of June. I'm going to be joining the fabulous, the wonderful Carol uh, for a Pearl Showcase. I'll be with you for a couple of hours on the 1st of June for what will be an absolutely spectacular showcase. And then I'm back to it with my usual team, Wayne and gang, um, on the 3rd and 4th of June. So I'm back. You're going to be seeing a whole lot more of me. I've missed you all terribly. I hope you are all keeping well and safe and I can't wait to get back into the world of crimping and wrap loops and gizmo coils. I'll see you soon. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 Six triple four six double five. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? 
You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Four and a half billion years ago, as our own planet Earth was forming, in the far reaches of the universe, another potential planet was growing. But the universe had a different plan for this one. And so rather than forming a paradise like we have, sent it flinging across the cosmos on a journey that would take four and a half billion years ago, which would strip this protoplanet of all its rocky exterior, leaving its solid iron core behind only. And a million years ago, that same iron core would crash onto our home planet. This week, between Thursday, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., I hope to launch with you fragments of that fallen planet's core so that you and I can craft jewelry that is truly out of this world. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Is Mark there? Um, yes. So, Mark, mm -hmm. we're doing um, we're doing a form of amber that we've never had before. Now, a lot of our viewers, of course, are familiar with um, the Baltic amber that we've brought previously. Mm. You are the only com person in the company to have worked with this new form of amber. Tell us about your experience and your journey well, with this. I had an email from Victoria who um, buys our amber, her and, uh, and Caroline buy the amber between them. And she sent me an email a couple of weeks ago, just before I had my week off, and said that um, we're going to be launching this amazing new Caribbean green amber. Um, if I sent you a strand, would you be able to make some jewellery with it? And um, obviously, I, I, I bit a hand off. I thought, I, I have to have it, I have to have it. So um, it was delivered two days later by the courier service. And um, it was just absolutely phenomenal. And it took me a good couple of hours before I actually took it apart to make jewellery with it because I was just absolutely in awe. And I took some photographs of the pieces while I, um, while I was making it, which I'll pop on my Facebook page. But can I just show you one? Yeah, please. Um, please do, yeah. And the reason I took it was... 
you've got the piece of jewelry in the studio, but I just wanted to show you the glow. I mean, this is, I, I made this, this bracelet and I photographed it on one of our beading mats, you know, the, the felt beading mats. Yeah. So it's not on a high gloss plastic, but look, look at the glow coming off the bottom of those beads. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, that, and, that, and that's on the beading mat. That, as I said, that's not on a high shine plastic. That's on the beading mat. It's just extraordinary. I mean, I love our amber and you always get a glow, but you never get a glow like that at all. It's just stunning. It's absolutely breathtaking. No, so I, was, I, was, I was absolutely overjoyed. And, uh, and so I've, I've made a necklace, I think, of some earrings and, and a bracelet. So you get a lot of beads on the strand. It's a 20 centimetre strand, I believe. Yeah. And you can see it, it's, it's gone a long way. So um, I, ha I had Wait, to use so that. Hang on. So you've done all of that with just this one strand? Yeah, yeah, that's all. And I. <laughs> I was a bit cheeky, actually. I actually um, okay. emailed Georgia and asked if I could have another strand to make some more. She wouldn't let me have one. She said it, it, it was so, so um, exclusive that yeah. um, well, we've she apologised and said, um, sorry, you can't have another one. So, yeah, so all of that, that's all one strand. And as I said earlier, I've used sterling on, on the whole set because it, it definitely warrants it, without a doubt. And it is. I mean, the glow... Can we put a minute clock on now? I know people are literally going to be desperate and chomping at the bit. So when we're talking about this absolutely astonishingly exciting amber, which I, but Way and I have been doing loads of research on the build up to this, obviously. I have as well. Um, yeah. Have you seen the price of it elsewhere and the quality and yeah. who uses it? And up the, for me, it was the fact that it, they, it's never treated. That's what you see is how it's, well, how it's planned. It's amazing. That's actually, it's a little bit of um, so yes. a... Sometimes it is, but it depends. So when you see the term Caribbean amber, it actually refers to, and it's almost like an umbrella name for two mm. locations, Colombia and the Dominican Republic. Um, and the Dominican Republic sauce is actually treated. This isn't. No. This is no. the Colombian sauce. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Just bear with me a second, because I had a screen grab a second ago. Just bear with me. Um, right, put this in your basket now. Could I please see the call screens, Wayne? Okay, yeah, it's going to be a sellout. I mean, it is. It's the colour as well. Talk to us about your experience of the of the colour. Oh, it, it's it's phenomenal. I mean, the, the the as you can see it there in, in the bracelet that the, on that uh, against the sterling, it really holds its own. It's it's more of a our um, green amber that we get from the Baltic. It, it it's um it's quite a dark bottle green, but this it's sort of a zesty limey green, which I really love. That, that, it was the colour that did it for me. Can you check your screen to let me know if I've got one? Uh, yes, you have done. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Sorry, I got, it, I got it the wrong way around. This is the Colombian, um, and, but it's the untreated one. And yeah. then um, the, the, the Dominican as well. So with the Caribbean, it's like, oh, my, right, OK, we're going straight down to the prize, straight down. I've only got four left. I've only got four left. <laughs> It's seventy nine ninety five, and there's only four left. Oh, oh my word. One, two. I'd love people to. to contact me on my Facebook page when they get it. Before, don't make any jewellery with it. Just just look at the strand and let me know what you think. It's just breathtaking. Do you like it? Do you like it? I absolutely adore it, and I just I would love to work with it with the spoon. Oh my word! With yes. twenty six on the strand, the value on that. I've got so many people with this in their baskets. I've got literally how many left? Two. I've got two left. Two left. Wow. Um, and I, I love the fact as well that you've been able to make that whole complete suite of jewellery with, oh, with that yeah, one strand. With that one strand. I mean, the yeah. value for money, I would, I'd get that valued within a, within a flash. So all I've done is I've added sterling silver wire and, the, and uh, Victoria kindly sent me a little packet of, of sterling silver bead spacers as well, which I've incorporated in it. But it's just, look at that. It's not very often that I'm really proud of my own jewellery, but I, I was really pleased with how this came Mark, out. Mark, you should be. Lovely. and. And I really think that we should make a concerted effort as a company after the 15th of June to go and get a second opinion on evaluation on that. Wow. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Without a shadow of a doubt. Um, which one, sorry? The Twisted Nuggets. I... 
Well done. Do everyone. I prefer both? Do I do I prefer um, these to those? Oh. Right, I've got sixty six of these. Mark, you've not seen this shape. No, I haven't. I've not oh. seen any of the others. Do you know what? These are more you than the rounds. You might oh, really? get another one. Yeah. Let's have a look. Okay, we're putting straight away graphics in um, coming in within a minute. Now those those previous ones sold out in two minutes. These are incredible once again, and you're looking at twenty to forty million years old. And look at the pure, look at the colour. It's it's incredible, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> We've simply, never got yes. anything to wear that colour, have we? I, I don't, don't think, think you can compare it to any other no. gemstone on the planet, but it would complement the sphene so exquisitely and I felt I don't know whether whether you can agree with me but I feel it's slightly heavier than the Baltic as well is it just me no um, I think it's slightly heavier more dense maybe as a stone do you know what now you say it yeah especially the strand of rounds I had I felt the rounds were, were, were quite a bit weightier than the normal yeah yeah, because usually it feels like holding a strand of air. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it must be a denser, a denser variety as well, which is really cool. Uh, oh my goodness! Call screens again, please, babe. Thanks. Uh, Eight to twelve millimeters, ten centimeter strand flying out once again. RXO Q42. This is the real deal. This is the Caribbean green amber, and it is. It's, I mean, it's taken the gemstone world by storm. Absolutely by storm. This is the Colombian source, and it. Oh, it's from our same suppliers that we work with, with the Baltic Amber, which is why the prices are so low, because that relationship has been forged over the last few years. And now we have sort of hooked up with them, with their other source, because this is the refinement, um, this is the refine, what's the word I'm looking for? This is the fine jewellery sector that mm. uses this. I can just see every one of those on that little strand there being used as a pendant on a chain. Yeah. Just, just so, so, so simple. Keep it simple. Oh, by the way, that's not the price. <laughs> it's heck. Um, do you know what? If everyone checks out, they're already gone. Wow. It is an extraordinary material to be making jewellery with. Forty-four ninety-five. Oh my goodness! Everybody who's already confirmed, you thought you were getting a great deal at ninety, and you would. Wow. You, you were getting a great deal at ninety-nine ninety-five. Do the viewers know that we've got cabochons as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I know. You need everything. You need them all. You need them all. Your mum will be pleased you got that strand. Yes. <laughs> She'll be phoning me in the next break. <laughs> well, she's very kind to wait till the next break. Yes. <laughs> 44 95 I'll be chomping at the bit. Have you got it? <laughs> RXOQ42. Well done, everybody. 8 to 12 millimetres. How's the garden, by the way, Mark? Is it going well? Well, Andrew's actually got his sprinkler out on it now. Has he now? Yeah. <laughs> on the front lawn, did you say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, don't apologise, that's what we live for here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's looking lovely. We just want some rain. Just 24 hours of solid rain, that's what we Wednesday want. Wednesday or Thursday, I think. Is that Wednesday. when we do some? Okay. Yeah, because typically Good. it's when I was going to do my next coat of my chest of uh, drawer things that I'm painting and oh, I was going to do right. it in the garden. Ah. Might do it tomorrow, I said. Rejuvenate right. them. Mm -hmm. All right, I've only got five left and there's 50 of these in baskets. We knew this would fly! And mm. it is just such a wow factor and it's alluring and it's illuminating and without a shadow of a doubt, I'd use it with the Baltic. Yeah. It does have an aura about it, doesn't it? it yeah. It's, yeah. It's bizarre. Yeah. It looks expensive, doesn't it? That glow is I just it's the glow for me. It's just incredible. I think you wow. need these. I think you need them. You need these in your life. But loads of people who haven't checked the baskets out. I'm so sorry if you miss out. There's three. There's three left. Oh my goodness me! Yep, yeah, one on a head pin attached to a chain. Done. That's it. That's all I would do with these. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine that in the sunlight. I think we'd get a very similar feel that we would with mm. the sphene. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, just to reiterate, folks, we've got the second of Mark's kits coming up for you at twelve o'clock, which are the silver tones of the uh, of the shell pearl, and you're going to love them. Oh, eight hundred six double four six double five. Mark, can I ask you another personal question? Yep. Are you wearing shorts right now? No. 
Jean. I'm wearing jeans. Okay, phew. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you ask? I was like, I just, because everyone's got their knees out here at work today, oh. so I just wondered if you had as well. Oh, um, no, no, no. Oh, no, oh no, no. Joe, thank goodness they're not short shorts is what you're doing right now. Doing a bit of limbering up. 44.95. There's two left. Right, there's two left. There's two left. Zara, Rosemary, Zoe, Margaret, Judith, Linda, Anne, Shandy, Angela. I've got loads of anonymous shoppers. Don't know who that's going to go to, but there are two left. I do have my elbows out today. Do you know what? So have I, and if it made me feel really vulnerable. Me as well. Isn't it funny? I don't I feel like exactly it. the same. But look, I was gardening. Roses. Ah. Um, which one, sorry? Okay, um, we've got two cabochons. One's 18 mil. What's the size of the other one? Is it 12? Wow. What? 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 Mark, put this in your basket right now. It's only 66. Trust me, you'll want it. Trust me. You can always cancel your order. You're not going to want to cancel your order. Okay. Oh, I'm the same putting in your basket. It's not the graphics aren't on the screen yet. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was a bum steer, wasn't it? This will sell out in a minute. This is the 18 mil one. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. See, it still has the same inclusions that, or that the Baltic does, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Extraordinary. Wow. You need it in your life. What do you, Joe? Need it in your life. Thanks. <laughs> Someone's asking what uh, colour metal would you choose to use with this? Any. I think all metal. I probably um, probably wouldn't go for the copper, but, but antique bronze, silver and gold I would use. Mm. Personally. Mark, have you, uh, get ready. Put it in your basket. You're going to thank me for this. You will thank me for this. Thirty-nine ninety-five. We're not staying there. How many have we got? Go slow, go low, go low. How low can you go? How low <laughs> can you go? Well done, everybody! Oh, 24.95 is an 18 millimeter cabochon. Um, it's a Caribbean green amber cabochon. Look at that! Mark's got it. There he is. Well. <laughs> I knew he was going to. I could tell he was shopping. This is going to be for me. This one. Pardon? I'm going to have this one. My mum's got her round, so I'm going to have this one. Will you make something to wear, or will you just keep it to look at it? Just keep it to look at it, I think. I'll go in my amber box. I mean, it's what we all have. We we'll regularly <laughs> look at our amber boxes after we've made our elder foil cordial. I've got it just up here. Where is it? It's a lovely view of your neck there, Mark. Sorry. That was cracking, that. Yeah, look, look, look. It's going to be back to front there, isn't it? So, but it's no, in my amber it's box. Oh, it's not. It is for me, but not for you. So, that's, yeah, this is my amber box. What did I say earlier about Mark and his storage? I know, it's mad. Yes, yeah, so this is this is my collection. So, yes, yeah, so I'll be able to add that little cover to that. Yeah. So, with that amber that you've got there, is that just to keep or is it to use? It will be to use eventually, but uh, if I have some time. <laughs> Which... Uh... Yeah, mm. he doesn't have much of it at the moment no, because no. we are working in making jewellery. Making jewellery. Between that and his elderflower cordial, his garden. We've got time to sleep. <laughs> Half past four we were woken up this morning by the dawn chorus. It is beautiful, but I wish it'd start a bit later. Yeah, um, I was about ten to five this morning yeah. by the dawn chorus of Fred. Oh. <laughs> but he went back to sleep. Twenty-four ninety-five on that one. Wow. How many did we have of this one? Sixty-six. Still small numbers, isn't it? Mm. Well, it's it's the road. It, you just can't get it in abundance like you can no, comparably no. to the Baltic. You can't. 
There's 30 people with these in the basket. So who's the final few? We haven't got any more coming in of this size no. at the moment. No. Look at that glow. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Mark, mm -hmm. when things resume to normal, what's the first thing you're excited about doing? Gosh. Or what's the main thing you miss about life before? While you're thinking, Wayne's crashing the <laughs> price again. Wayne's taking I'm... it lower. 1995, <laughs> folks. It's gone to 1995. Wow. 1995. I think it's, having, it's, it's having to do the whole two-meter Q thing. I don't like doing that. Yeah. So. Um, I think that's going to stay for a long time. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. Wow. I hope Victoria's not watching. Uh, do you know what? I was just thinking exactly that. <laughs> Put in. 100% will be. Hi, Victoria. Don't look. <laughs> we love it, though. It is amazing. Absolutely stunning. Mm. 1995. The size of it is so impressive. I like the depth of it as well. Yeah. It's really deep, isn't it? It's lovely. Wow. Yeah. Got way more people with those in their baskets than we have got stock available. With this, okay, so I've got this idea. Oh, actually, I've got an idea for the next cabochon size. Alison, are you watching? Guess Anna, Alison, are you watching? Can you text me if you're watching, Alison? Wow, I've got the smaller size here, which is the 12 mil. Well done, everybody, on that. So this is 12 mil. Okay, so. This is the last one. This is the last Caribbean green amber that we've got in the business at the moment. How would you feel about making one of Alison Terry's wire work bears and using these for the eyes? Oh, wow, yes. Okay, uh, in the words of Wayne, I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to take this straight down. What? For everybody out there who thought they could never achieve the ability to, to know where to even get this stone, we're making this affordable for everybody and I know it's going to sell out. Oh, who says that? We've had a great message in. Oh, oh, oh. Karen, that amber looks so juicy. Oh, <laughs> juicy. Like juicy, juicy. That's what people have always called me. Um, this is, it is amazing, isn't it? Juicy, juicy. Twelve millimetres. Oh. Are you wow. ready for the price of this? All, the whole stock, the whole stock in the business. Victoria, sorry about this. We're going to absolutely decimate the expected price point of uh, Caribbean green amber. No! <laughs> 12 95 Oh, my Lord. Definitely get your authenticity certificate yes. with it. Without a doubt. Absolutely, absolutely. Because I've, I've never seen it before, up until this show. M A O Q67. You seriously need this in your life. It's a 12 millimeter in diameter. Extraordinary amber. Could I see the coarse grains, please, Wayne? Thanks, darling. It's no sold out. Oh, lots okay. of people buying twos and threes. Awesome. What a brilliant price for an introduction into a new I gemstone. I reckon, yeah. Cool. Yeah. You're right, Wayne. You have a little thing. Oh, it was going boom, 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 as the quantity were coming off. Right, right now though, we're going to do. We're going to go back to a different part of the world. We're going to head back to Poland. We're going to the Baltic for these amazing clasps.
the way that you want to finish off your pieces. And in fact, stay with me, bear with me. Hang on, hang on. Look at this piece. Mark, did you do this one as well? I did, yes. <laughs> this, was, this was a bonus strand that I was also sent if I had time and who, would, who could resist it? So again, if all I I've done is I've just popped, in, so just popped in some little sterling spaces in between. I've never seen these clasps before. They beautiful. are stunning. They're absolutely beautiful. So we've got them in all the varieties, the Baltic Amber. So the difference with the Baltic Amber, it comes rather from the Caribbean. It comes from the depths of the Baltic mm. Ocean, which was the largest um, prehistoric rainforest to have ever existed. And it lies at the bed of the Baltic and just on the coastline. It's, um, it's an extraordinary stone and it's that little bit more readily available due to the expanse of the space that it's found. So the price points are a little bit lower than the Caribbean green. Which one are we going to go for? We've got a minute for you to get on the phone lines, a minute for you to get on the phone lines. I love the fact that Mark has used it as exactly as I would expect, actually, to have it as a feature point rather than a hidden away class. That, for me, I just put that on a simple strand of silver mm. and attach a silver chain on and have that as... Beautiful, isn't it? The depth of colour is, is stunning as well, and all that silver weight. Mm. Mark, that was the graduated strand, wasn't it? It was, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come to that in a minute. Okay. Pardon? Yeah, I'd say it looks like a six. Was it six to ten millimetres? Yes. Yeah. Oh, we've got the, we're going to do that strand next. Brilliant. So you can add it. Oh, brilliant. You can make the exact piece that Mark has made. Are you ready? We're going to do this beautiful box clasp. And you can see all that happens here is you give it a little squeeze. I'm so sorry about my nails. I really need to go and see a nail technician. Okay. And then you just pop it in there. I'm trying to do this the other way around. I don't know why. I'm right-handed. I don't know why I bothered doing that. I'm going to try to hide my botched nails. Okay, you just pop it in there and then give it a squeeze, it's in. $29.95, solid 95 sterling silver. I can't remember seeing um, amber clasps on the show before. We may have done, I missed it, but um, it's, it's quite a new product for me. I feel like I have, but I don't know if I have. Right. Maybe okay. I've just wanted them. Could I see the call screens, please? Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, thank you, thank you, darling. Thank you. And here we go. Oh, hello. This is, we're busy, we're busy, we're busy. Especially when we're about to go half price. <laughs> no, <More>. really? Yeah. <laughs> 40 95 40 95 wow. How much That's is incredible. it, Joe? 40 95 Joe, Joe's dad's in a band. Hmm. He's just like... <laughs> um, this, this is beautiful. What did you say, sorry? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, we're going to show you a little video clip um, of... Which one are we going to show, sorry? Oh, he's just having a little look. I don't mind, really. Cool. I'm glad Adam's decided which one we're going to see. Uh, because um, I couldn't make my mind up. Uh, YIG Y80. There's only a handful of those remaining now. But have a look at this. This gives you a little bit more of an insight into how we actually get the amber. Bishek has been mining for amber. In fact, let's not call it mining. He's been netting for amber for 43 years. We're standing on the edge of, of the Baltic Sea. And many years ago, and we're not sure exactly when, but around 25 to 30 million years ago, out here was a huge, big forest. 
Nobody knows exactly what the trees were, what variety of trees that, that, that formed the amber. Pliny the Elder had his, his own ideas. Uh, scientists, geologists, botanists, all sorts of professions have had their own theories over the years. But just out here uh, is where the amber actually formed. And the day after a storm, if it's been a windy evening, the, the miners, the gem hunters, they come down very early, uh, some five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning, and try and beat everybody else to the few pieces of amber that wash themselves onto the shore. And it is absolutely amazing. And you have got that now. At 14.95, we're going to do the strand that Mark has used to make that necklace coming up next. In fact, we're doing it now. Do it now. We've got a few more of those hasps, though, in the cherry and the green and the lemon. Do you know what? I think the lemon would work really nicely with the um, Caribbean green, you know. Oh, Wayne agrees with me. Not often, but he has on that one. Okay. All right. So this piece, Mark, what did mm. you strand it on? Is it normal beading? Um, our beading thread, tiger tail. Yeah. From our, from our threading pack, just 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 kept it. Victoria just wanted it kept really simple yeah. and elegant. So, it works. So, um, so that's all I've used. It was to, actually, show, to showcase the amber, she she didn't want any seed beading, any faffing. Just kept really nice and simple. So all I've done is I've just spaced them apart with little sterling silver spacer beads. That's it lovely, works it? so beautifully. Yeah. yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Now there's only. 65 of these strands so if you're tempted we're not going to be staying at that price jump on the phone line we're giving you time literally now to what okay so 159.95 could i see the call screens please thank you wayne thank you kindly thank you darling thank you right 159.95 bearing in mind the six to ten millimeters we need to get this valued we need to get it but i'm 95 cents silver on it as well are you ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go. We don't do amber very much on 38 centimetre strands, do we? What was that, sorry? We don't tend to do amber on 38 centimetre strands very often. No, we don't. Either. And it's 59.95. We've yeah. taken £100 <laughs> off the price of it today. There's £100 wow. come off genuine Baltic amber. There's £100 and you can get your certificate of authenticity. £100 off the price. £100 off the price. £100. Wow. How much is off the price, Joe? £100. You can sing that for me, Joe. Oh, I don't want tunes. You can go for whatever song you like because you look like you were singing 100 just a moment ago. I saw you. Now bring it out loud. Go for it. Let it loose. Go on. Oh, he's gone all quiet. Go on, Mark. Sing £100 off the prize for me. £100. Off the price. Oh, do you know what? That Mark Smith, he's changed. He's changed. Back in the day, when he first started, not a chance I would dream of even asking him to do that. Now, he'll do anything. He's happy. He's there. He's found his place in the world. He's a jewellery maker. £100 off the price now. We have got a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Don't worry, we do know you're there. There's a good quantity of these-ish, sort of. Not really, though. Pardon? Mom! Go for it, Zara and Beverly and Sharon and Jeanette. I think the fact that you've got that graduation makes this even mm. more versatile. And it's, it's the, uh, the colour from one end of the strand to the other. It's, it's perfect, isn't it? It's just the same colour all the way from one end to the other. It's lovely. Just have a look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. And again, you've got your extended money back guarantee uh, until the end of June, which pretty much we're back to our Thursday money back guarantee. I never thought I'd be able to say the day. Thursday money back guarantee. Uh, QLGY86, 6 to 10 millimetres. So that's it with the 95 zillion silver. And then Mark's used the spacer, uh, the uh, box clasp on there as well. We know that this is going to sell out, folks. Well done, Jeanette and Jane and Janice. Check your baskets out. Anthony and Kay, check out. There should be a pair of earrings to match as well. Yeah, the, oh yes, I've got them right here. Oh, there we are. Perfect. So how so took, beautiful is that? Well done, Joan. To make, I took some of the larger ones out to make the earrings. Love those. 
Really lovely. I mean, you sell those earrings for the price of selling the whole kit. Well, sorry, I was just going to say that. The yeah, price absolutely. of the whole strand. Yeah, I'm using six beads. Amazing. Uh, QLGY86. Make sure you continue to check out your baskets. Now, we're going to go on to the cherry amber, but there's only 100 of these. So, less than the other one. I actually think this would work really beautifully with one of the kits that I had with Linda yesterday and it had the check glass beads. Okay, we're going to put the clock on screen. There is a minute for everybody who is shopping on the phone lines to jump on to the phone lines before the graphics come on screen. Oh. oh. Oh, look. Gosh. <laughs> How rich does that look? Yes. Wow. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do you know what we're going to be able to do after it? We've got the corresponding strand. So again, you'll be able to make Mark's designs. It might be that you want to get both and combine the two together because I mm -hmm. really do love the cherry amber with the Baltic amber. Wow, look at that. Okay, um, 10 seconds left on the clock if you haven't yet called up 0800 644 655. Make sure you're pressing the option one and speaking to the call centre to get through and confirm that purchase. Here we go. I think I'm exhausted. 12 by 18 millimetres in solid 95 sterling silver. Well done. Gosh, we've got loads of people on the phone lines for this. MSM GY47. We're matching the price. 40.95. 40.95. Yeah, I'd get a couple of those for the bracelet and a matching necklace. Yeah. Yeah. SM GY47. Love it. We are only 15 minutes away from Mark's second kit as well. Alison, hello, darling. Oh, did you see? Um, did you see what I said about the uh, small amber for the cabochons? For the amber cabochons, sorry, for your teddy eyes. Love the amber clasps. And with that much silver in um, the bezel, you could engrave on it for dates and names, etc. That's so true. The Dremel Stylo is back in stock that can do that on the 24th of June with Gemma. Mm. Mm. Just catching back up. Phew! Just got the cab um, of the amber and I hope you have more. Oh, Alison. Where have you been? How dare you not be just sat watching the show constantly. <laughs> oh, Linda. Um, such a beautiful shade of green. So that's the green Caribbean amber we did. This has an mm. inner glow. Almost the same as quality Peridot and outstanding prices. Thank you, Wayne and JM. It's all JM, it's not Wayne. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Will either of your beautiful kitties make an appearance today? My Flobo is quite smitten, says Gabrielle. Aww. They're both asleep next door at the moment. I've been ODing on my elder, elder uh, flower cordial. <laughs> Don't give your cats out to flower cordial. I was being facetious. No, no. I was being facetious, yeah. That's lovely, that's lovely. Now we've got the... So let's do the corresponding strand. So once again, this is the design that Mark had made with the strand in the Baltic Amber. If this is Baltic Amber uh, that we're doing. It's from the Baltic, it's the cherry colour. I think the two colours combined would be yeah, amazing I do. in a set, wouldn't they? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ready? 159.95? Or a hundred pounds off the price. A hundred pounds off the price. How much is coming off the price, Joe? Hundred pounds off the price. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, got a quick question coming for you, Mark. Um, hi, Mark. What's the best thread to use on the dart bees, please? Says Pat in Nottinghamshire. 
on dark beads. Yeah. Uh, I, either Fireline or the Wildfire. We've had either Wildfire on the show today, hun. We did, yeah. There's yeah. some but, still available. But, but that's, that, that's the thread that I always use for all of my, my check glass beads. So, Pat, if you pop onto the website, you'll see... Mm. Was it in the last hour? Yes, yes. Yeah, you'll see in the previous hour that we had um, the Wildfire. And it's there. I think the green's all sold out, but the black should still be there, which is Mark's mm. personal mm. favourite. He uses it all the time. Hmm. Hmm. K A G Y zero seven. They are they're fab. Love those. Okay, let's now go to the lemon, which I think is my favourite for summer. Oh, couldn't number ten. Mm, a meter long. Wow. Did you mean to do that? Or did you mean to do number seven? Number seven. Okay, do you know what? We're going to whiz through these because then they'll remain on the website as well. You know the prices that these are going to. We're staying with the same prices for all of them. We'll do the clasp first of all. So this is the Baltic Lemon colour and it's in solid 925 selling silver. I love it. You see that for summer. Nice strappy dress. 14.95. I adore it. Absolutely adore it. So does Leslie and Anne and Sabine and lots of anonymous shoppers and Linda. Go for it. Lots, lots of people multi-buying as well. Dee and Rebecca and Kim and Jacqueline. Claire, well done to you, my darling. Oh, hello, anonymous shopper in Florida. Patricia, more anonymous shoppers. Irene. Can the anonymous shopper in Florida let me know? Oh, somebody has asked. So, Mark, mm. Maria has texted in to say how much would this necklace retail for? Oh my lord, how much I would sell it for? Well, yeah, why not? Um, I would probably... If I was at someone like Blenheim or some, you know, a, a, quite a high-end craft, you're probably looking at... Okay, at two prices now. So, retail in a posh boutique craft stall at Blenheim Palace, which is where we go to at Christmas. That would probably be about £400. I was going to say 380 yeah, and then I would probably sell it for two hundred, with oh, all that sterling in between. <laughs> yeah, with all that sterling and um, yeah. Yeah, I had about the three eighty to four fifty mark in my head. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's sterling silver and genuine Baltic amber. Yeah, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. I might have to steal that. Plug it online when I get home. I'm not really. Um, so we're back to the lemon box clasp. And we've got the lemon graduated amber here. So you'd be able to make exactly that piece that Mark had and he's just interspersed with 95 still in silver space bees, which we should still have on our, our website. I think we've still got some available. NHGY74. Wayne, just so you know, I really hurt my hand trying to do that cool flappy thing. It really hurts. It's not going to be any sympathy. NHGY74. It doesn't care. We haven't got any blue amber in stock at the moment. We are, we are expecting some in. Lots of people are asking for the blue. We are absolutely expecting some in, but we just don't know when it's coming. Because of the pandemic. <laughs> I know. I know, I know, I know. 159.95 NHGY74. £59.95 once again. £100 off the price, £100 off the price. Don't worry about it, Joe, because it's making me cringe now. <laughs> Hi Jonathan and Susan and Carol and Claire and lots of anonymous shops and person Sabine and Linda and Rebecca and Diana. Oh my word! Yeah, this is going to sell out once again. Mm. It's beautiful, isn't it? That lemon. I really like. That. I do. Shall I hold it up to the decolletage? That feels summery. Here we go. Hi Lucy. I did some research on Caribbean amber and found lots of varied info. Knowing it comes from our regular supplier gives much more confidence. 
Yeah, Stuart, Ted, hello my <coughs> darling, um, one of our viewers for many years. Yeah, to be honest, you could say that about probably every gemstone. Um, there's a lot of fakes out there and we can deliver a certificate of authenticity. Um, there's a lot of fakes of every gemstone out there, but I think there's also lots of fake handbags and fake jeans and fake designer goods and that's, unfortunately, it's a very corrupt world out there. Lots of counterfeiting. No, absolutely genuine, my darling. Thank you for reiterating that message for me. Much appreciated. That's beautiful. Isn't the it? glow against your skin is incredible, isn't it? But it's just the glow, natural glow mm. of that amber is is stunning. I'd quite like to see it. Why don't I try it against the black background of this as well? <gasps> wow, yes. Can you see that? <laughs> it's amazing. That glow bouncing off the black background. NHGY74, well done everybody. Do make sure you're checking out your baskets. Okay, and then we're going to go to the green Baltic amber. We don't have the graduated strand in the green, I'm afraid. Um, it's proven to be incredibly, in incredibly sought after. Hang on, though. Just bear with me. There's a little bit of green that appears in number 16, Wayne. I love that. Mm. Okay. This... Oh my word, so this is the Baltic green. Shall I show it to you next to the Caribbean green? Now just so you know, we do have a video clip um, from Herman who is our amazing um, supplier. Look, you can really see the difference. And we will be playing that in the break for you. It would work though, the two of those together. Yeah, I wouldn't like it? That together. It really would, yeah. Totally, wow. that's stunning. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, WXGY01-1495. We're staying at 1495 today. We're staying at 1495. It's 1495. Uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, 29.95, is it? 14.95 today. Well done, everybody. Oh, another message popping. All right, Liz. I dreamt about JM Amber last night, probably because I've been going through my stash. But you can never have enough Amber. Gorgeousness! <laughs> oh, well, I had the weirdest dreams last night. I can't remember what it was, but I know it was weird. Those Baltic class would look great with pearls, Irene. You're not wrong, darling. You're not wrong. I had a, um, a big tidy up in my workroom last week. And um, do you want to see what I came across? I came across my school photograph from my first year at secondary school when I was 11. Do you want to, do you want to see? Yes. <laughs> oh, and you're handsome. Yeah, so when I was 11 with my, with my hand-knitted jumper by my, my mum knitted my uniform, basically. <laughs> That's impressive. Doesn't look like me at all, does it? No, you look like the Haribo kid. The Haribo kid? Is there such a thing as a Haribo kid? Yeah, the Haribo kid off the advert looked like he had a bowl cut round his head. Uh, <laughs> a bowl part of his head cut round. That's what Freddie looks like at the moment. Oh. Freddie's hair at the moment looks like cross between the Haribo kid and Victoria Wood in the 80s. Oh, yes. You know, like a big mop and she had to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He will not let me. I had to cut like this extension that was growing into this sort of rat ponytail thing from the... He's four. I had to cut it off in his sleep because he would not let me trim his hair. And then the other night, uh, and, and he was on his front, I managed to do part of his fringe. And then, because he couldn't see. Oh. Anyway. Little bunchkins. I got to sit in the paddling pool with them this afternoon. <gasps> a meter of amber, a meter, a meter, a meter. Now I launched these for the birthday, did I not? I think I did. You know what I'm gonna say? You know what I'm gonna say? No, I don't know if I do. Kiss cross. Oh yeah, yeah, an yeah, am, yeah. An amber kiss cross with with gold fifteen and eleven O's. That yeah. would look beautiful. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You will not believe the price of this for a metre of defined mill, a metre, a metre, a metre. So you're basically going to get 200 amber. Wow. 200 stones. 200. 200 for 79.95. That's ridiculous. Wow. It's so comforting to get the authenticity for the certificate. The amber is all mine. And I just love it. Um, yeah, and that certificate of authenticity um, will stand you in good stead forever. You know, those gemstones are never going to change. And it's there. I think if you do sell your jewellery, it's a nice reassurance for your customers as well. That we've got proof. These are lovely. Absolutely lovely. ZJGY24, and we've built our relationships with our gemstone suppliers over a number of years, a long time, because really they stem from Gems TV, so it's Gems TV who started those relationships. So, um, how long has Gems been going now? 15, I think. Is it? Mm. I'm sure they had their 15th birthday this year. When were we there together? I've been with Jewelry Maker for 10 years. And it roared. A lot. Um, which one, sorry? Can we do number 11? Now, number 11 will fly out, okay? If you're going to buy one lot of the metre lengths of amber, get this. It's got all the colours on you'd want. Minus the green. It's the ombre. Oh. Alison Terry, who's watching right now, do you remember when your hair used to be like this? She used to have the most amazing ombre going through her hair. Or balayage, as we like to call it as well, don't we, Mark? We do. <laughs> we do. This is the most extraordinary strand of 200 ombre genuine Baltic amber. Seventy nine ninety five. Could I see the gold screens, please? Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there they are. Hello, Debbie and Sabine, Dee and Linda. Tons of anonymous shoppers. We are going to go to a break very shortly, folks. Um, during that break, you are going to be seeing the video clip from our suppliers of the amber. And when we come back from the break, we are going to be um, with um, with Mark for his next kit. And it's of course the Caribbean amber that we'll be referring to in that video clip in the VC. YJ G Y five one. Pardon? Sixteen years Gems has been going, apparently. So that's how long the relationships have been building for. 8th of October 2004, so it's like 15 and a half at 4pm. Did Drew work on the opening of it? I think he did, yeah. He did. Yeah. Yeah. Factory outlet, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I went to the studios the other day to go and pick up a staff order and they took the wrong turning. <laughs> Yeah, I've only been driving there for, you know, years. But I haven't driven there for a little while. It's, it's changed around there now. Have you seen? Have you been down to Gems? Oh, my word. It's massively changed the industrial uh, area. Flipping heck, there's some warehouses around there now. Monsters. Any road. Uh, BPGY67, I think one of them's for jewellery maker stock. <laughs> yeah, it's quite empty now. Uh, 79.95, folks, £100 off the price once again for you today. That's a metre in length, giving you 200 Baltic lemon amber. What an amazing hour this has been, and it's only going to get better. Where's the morning gone? Time flies when you're having fun, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So we're going to go to a quick break. Mark, you're brewing up. Definitely. Me I too. See you with the brew. Yeah. Everybody, see you with the brew. We're going to do that corker of a kit. But right now, um, here's a little video clip for you regarding the Caribbean Green Umber. This is Herman from the Dominican Republic, from the Caribbean. Remember, I visited you last year with Larima from the Caribbean island. And the Larima is this uh, blue volcanic stone. The jewelry maker uh, sells it, provides it for you. And uh, this time I have something different. Uh, let me put on my hat so you remember me better. Okay, this time I have amber. Amber from the Caribbean for you. May, you may be surprised because uh, Caribbean treasures uh, to hunt gold and emeralds maybe. But uh, in 1492, Columbus and his men arrived at the Caribbean island of La Hispaniola which is the Dominican, uh, Dominican Republic and, and Haiti these days. Of course, they were not looking for amber. <laughs> they were looking for gold. But Columbus wanted to offer some special gifts to a Taino prince, and uh, one of those gifts was a strand of Baltic amber beads. Now, history tells us that he received a pair of shoes decorated with Caribbean amber in exchange. Now, that must have been a surprise for him. You see, also in the New World, amber was used for incense, adornment, and even consumed, meant to be for stress reduction as a natural remedy. Now, why wouldn't anybody know about Caribbean amber? Since uh, there always was an abundance of common amber from the Baltic, we find it even laying at the seashores of the Baltic Sea, and a lot of publicity since Roman times. The existence of amber from the Caribbean was little known for a long time. Now, uh, Caribbean amber comes either from the Dominican Republic or from Colombia, and there are some in Mexico as well. But it is highly appreciated by scientists and collectors of uh, fossil inclusions, plants or insects or something like that. Dominican amber is older and harder than amber from Colombia. And uh, as you know, the word amber normally refers to brown and honey colors. Well, this would be what we have in the Caribbean as well, brown and honey colored. But we also have different colors. We have uh, black amber. In the Dominican Republic, we even have blue amber. And what is uh, best known on the market is green amber. Now, it's this color. Green amber. This is what I would like to present to you this time. Green Caribbean amber. And the jeweler maker has this for you. Beads, strands, cabochons of green Caribbean amber. Oh yes, um, the Caribbean uh, is known for beaches with white sand and blue crystal water. Everybody wants to go on vacation there. Uh, and it's also known for mysteries, adventure, and uh, um, Caribbean pirates. But uh, now discover green Caribbean amber. It's brought to you again by the jewelry maker. Enjoy. Hello, jewelry makers. Eleanor Stevens here, one of your long standing presenters. Now, um, I've got some exciting news with all the craziness that has been going on. I've been off your screens for quite some time and I've missed you so, so, so much. 
but I will be returning on the 1st of June. I'm going to be joining the fabulous, the wonderful Carol uh, for a Pearl Showcase. I'll be with you for a couple of hours on the 1st of June for what will be an absolutely spectacular showcase. And then I'm back to it with my usual team, Wayne and gang, um, on the 3rd and 4th of June. So I'm back. You're going to be seeing a whole lot more of me. I've missed you all terribly. I hope you are all keeping well and safe and I can't wait to get back into the world of crimping and wrap loops and gizmo coils. I'll see you soon. Four and a half billion years ago, as our own planet Earth was forming, in the far reaches of the universe, another potential planet was growing. But the universe had a different plan for this one. And so rather than forming a paradise like we have, sent it flinging across the cosmos on a journey that would take four and a half billion years ago, which would strip this protoplanet of all its rocky exterior, leaving its solid iron core behind only. And a million years ago, that same iron core would crash onto our home planet. This week, between Thursday, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., I hope to launch with you fragments of that fallen planet's core so that you and I can craft jewelry that is truly out of this world. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button. Fill in the required fields and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewelry making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewelry Maker website and check out our project page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced jewelry maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. In your own time. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Oh, that's why. I was waiting for me. I'm not very good with my technical Ujima flip flops there. Do you know it's quite nice not to be able to hear them? Oh, I'll be cursing me now. Hello? My fault. Totally, totally. Pardon? Do you like me? That's nice. Good job he likes me. He doesn't really under his breath. <laughs> right. Um, are we going to go straight for clock to graphics? Right. Okay, here we go. This is for Mark's second kit, folks. This is what everyone's been waiting for. So this is the shell pearl with the silvery colours, and it's 925 stone silver and four reels of the wire. Can we see the jewellery, please? It's amazing. I am. I love all this. This reminds me of the jewellery you made me, um, you know, when I was hosting that awards evening, Mark. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. With my little black dress that wasn't so little. It was massive. It was quite a while ago, wasn't it? Was it? Was that quite a while ago? Well... I haven't been able to host any since just before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. 
all the events have been cancelled. Um, these are awesome. Let me just move that and those. There you go, that should give you a clearer image. Right, um, if you haven't yet put this, uh, if you haven't yet called up for this, make sure you do right now. Right now, Wolf. Get ready to check out now. Um, can we have a look at that necklace that we've got three standards on, please, as well? Okay, you're going to have to be really, really, really quick off the mark. It's the Silver Moon. You have got the most beautiful array of stones. This has gone on and on and on. So you've done a big pendant piece, two necklaces, two pairs of earrings and three bangles. Slash bracelets. And, I didn't, and I didn't touch any of the little pearls that you get with it. Pearls? Hmm. Do you mean, do you mean spaces? What have you got in this kit? What have you been given? Oh, okay, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine. In the kit, in the kit that I was sent, I got a, a strand of, of cultured pearls, which I thought was a bit odd, so I didn't use no, it. No, that would have so. been a mistake. I'm glad you didn't use them because that was a mistake. I'm glad that I was didn't a faux pas. Yes. That was a human error, <laughs> error of humanness. Right, can I see the gold screens, please? So you're looking, and all of these. Okay. Okay. I think it's fair to say we're going to have a sellout. Facts, it's fair to say we're going to have a sellout. Solid 925 selling silver spaces on this one. ZGXC18. Are we honouring the. Are we allowed to honour the price of the previous? I don't agree with you. Was he planning? Something a bit naughty. I like those it. Those peacocks are amazing. Aren't they? Let's have a look at these. Yeah. My, I have to say, the peacock are my favourite because I love peacock pearls. But there's a sort of an, a, a sort of a pale minty green silver. It's referred to as the duck egg. Ah, okay. Yeah. Lovely. Is that still the same colour as your lounge? Mm. Uh, no, we're yellow now. Uh, I think I knew that, yeah. But yeah, so the, the one in the middle next to the peacock, yeah. it's, I've never seen it, it's so unusual. As I said, none of these have been on our screen before, they're all brand new. They're amazing, and how many of these kit did we have in total? Okay, we're going to have a sellout, over 80 of these have gone already. Good luck everybody. $25.95, lower <laughs> than the kit that we had earlier on. <laughs> lower price. Twenty five ninety five on that ZGXC one eight. Well done, everybody. Check out your baskets as quick as you can, and I would do. I'd, I'd buy more than one of these. Yeah, a few people have multiple bought actually. Well done, Angela, Alison, Eileen, Maureen, Kim, Susan, Tina, Jennifer, Rosemary, Julie, Helen, Claire, Morgan. Oh my word, Ella, D, Sarah, Mary, Jackie, Linda, Shandy, Sabine, Kathy, Sam. Uh, wow, wow, wow! <laughs> I've got my. Sharon, I know, isn't it? it's epic, isn't it? Because you get sterling silver spaces in there and all of your wires. So you get 10 metres of 0.6, 10 metres of 0.4 and 10 metres of 0.8. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Which we, work. Yeah, we haven't, apparently Georgia was saying that we've not been able to put that combination of silver wire together for months. So we've just not had the stock. So this is sort of a, a, a first back to normality again. I think it's fair really to nice. say that our viewers are recognising that and we're about to have a sellout mm. kit once again in just a moment. Right. Well done, Mark Smith. Well done, well done. What are the spaces you get in this one? The spaces? Mm. 925 sterling silver. Did you not get the spaces? No, no, no. I got, I got a strand of pearls instead. So it must oh, have been I a see. Break, which is why, oh, which I, I thought was an odd, um, an odd thing to have in the kit. Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, brilliant. So you actually get, Mark's not even used these. No. You get them in the kit. <laughs> wow. Can you see there's a, a sort of a lattice bracelet in the front, an open weave bracelet, the macrame bracelet. Where are they? Oh, sorry, that was me kicking my water bottle on the floor. All right, I'm about to do for you now, uh, just while yeah. that's checking out, how many have we got left of that kit? Five left and 30 in baskets. Five left and 30 in baskets. I repeat, there's five left and there's 30 of you with these in your baskets. Can you check your baskets out, please? So that, that lattice bracelet is what the, uh, the demo is. 
Oh, okay, fab, okay. So we'll be seeing that towards the latter part of the hour. Hi all, Charity Claire in Florida. How are you, my darling? Happy to see you, Lucy and Mark. Nostalgic. Aww. The green amber video was so interesting. Thank you. Stay safe. And that's Charity um, from... Curacao. Oh, that's where the liqueur comes from. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. How exciting. Thank you for joining us, my darling. Uh, you say safe too, my hun, my my hu I was going to, my honey bun, but that's what I call my children when I'm singing a little song to them. So that'd be weird. I'm clearly very, very tired, and I blame my four-year-old. Um, woohoo! Managed to get both kids happy, happy, happy. Geraldine, are you doing a little happy dance? <laughs> oh, can we say Joe's happy dance, please? Can you see it? A little bit of a wiggle there. Uh, Rita, hi one and all, is the bracelet on the far left one of your corset weave piece, um, pieces? It certainly Mark? is, well remembered. Yeah, and that, as I said, that's, that's the demo piece today. But yeah, so it, it's a take on the herringbone, but I've, ever since, I think you and I did it on a DVD a long time ago. I remember, we, um, it was in the um, studio before we moved over here. Yes, and um, so yes, yeah, so I called it the corset weave. So it's a bit racy, but it's sort of a name that's sort of stuck a little bit. <laughs> Tell you what, you'll learn a lot about corsets watching the Downton series again, you will. Yes, yes. What's Jane in Cornwall? There's no amber nuggets today, Jane in Cornwall, my darling. I have got nuggets. The chips. This here, not of amber. The Tanzanite garnet. What are these ones? They have to be amber nuggets. Sorry, Dom. Sorry. That kit has sold out. But we're just going to bring you some really cheeky little deals on sterling silver. Um, ah, so I think there's going to be um, quite an overwhelming amount of weddings next year. Because <laughs> you just can't really get married this year certainly not in the w way that people would or want to to have their loved ones there and um, so i'd stock up now and i think one thing that's really really lovely is to have wine glass charms so if ever at the table set how about these as wine glass charms have a look or even do you know what i'd have these as little key rings on mine and drew's keys Mr. and Mrs. Made for each other. Why can't I can't pick these up? Can't I put my nail oil on. So, you will have three of the Mrs. and three of the Mr. So it might be that you have Mrs. and Mrs. Mr. and Mr. and one of each. Oh, they're cute. They're really lovely, aren't they? So they're the Mrs. Yeah. For some reason, I can't pick up the Mr. There we go. So you're going to get three of the Mr. and three of the Mrs. So pair them up however you say. Are you serious? Seven. No. Okay. And do you know what's really lovely as well? If you get the Dremel stylo, you can engrave on the other side. Are you ready? Can I see the call screens, please? Do you know what? These are going so low, you could even put them on the front of a card. Oh, that's a lovely idea. And I just think as well for anniversary gifts. Like it's my it just been my best friend and her husband's tenth wedding anniversary. Oh that, yeah, lovely. LCX C six nine and then nine pounds for six. No, we're not. Wow. It's our tenth anniversary next month. Is it next month? Yeah. Oh well, yeah, six after six pounds. After, yeah. What date's your wedding anniversary? 10th of July. And we're the 5th of August. 10 years from the 5th of August. Mm. Mm. Oh, this, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Needless to say, that's way below it costs to actually get them into the company. They're solid 925 sterling silver. You've got three of the Mrs., three of the Mr. LCX C69. I love them. And we've said for wine glass charms, the ring memory wire is good, isn't it, Mark? 
Yeah, that's all you need. Perfect. Just a jump ring, just to make sure that it's sat in the right place. But that's all yeah. you need. Now, Mark, I have done a faux pas, by the way. Oh, really? I didn't make a cup of tea in the break. Got a glass of water, thinking I'd be self-righteous, and now I'm just miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I had one. It was very nice. Oh, my word. Sorry. Um, we're going lower again, because basically these are legacy stock. They're going all, they're all getting, yeah, getting them gone. Um, you might as well buy them and get them melted down and get your money for silver at that price. <laughs> Honestly, if you, if you do card making, flipping heck, how many have we got in stock? And then, right, can you, reserve, can you put that code down for me? Because I'll have those at five pounds. Five pounds. I know, I sound really northern when I'm saying it. Five pounds. Five pounds. Solid 95 cent silver, not a surprise that majority of people have multi board. Solid 95 cent silver. Mr. Essence. Can I ask you a question now, okay? It's not, an, it's not a personal question, it's an opinion. Oh, God, go on. I hate do it. You, do, you, do you think, yes or no, that our week's holiday in the Lake District, the first week of July, will go ahead or not? I think if it's after the 4th of, it's 4th of July, isn't it? They're saying. Hmm. But okay. I don't know if you're aware, I don't work for the government. <laughs> no, that's true. Just thought. So, this is, this I is, can't yeah, this say is for certain, that, but I have... Oh, right, yeah. this is going even lower. This is ridiculous. Wait. <laughs> Basically, the price keeps dropping until they've all sold out. So, um, get them. What were you saying, Mark, just while these are flying out the door? Well, this is, this is the anxiety that we were talking about at the beginning of the show, okay. not knowing. It's, it's just... a lack of control. Mm. It's a lack of not knowing. Yeah. Never mind. Never lack mind. Of being What's there. he going to now? Four pounds? Four pounds mm. for oh. six ninety-five cents silver charms. Yeah, can't, cannot make them for that price. You cannot make them for that price. They've been in the business way too long. We have been asked to get, basically... It's more profitable. It makes more sense to sell mm. these at a massive loss than them sitting in the warehouse doing a diddly squat. Mister, what does this one say? Mrs. What does this one say? Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> This one also says, Mrs. And these both say, Mr. Fives, threes, most people buying twos. I like your idea of putting them on the cards, because everyone's going to have a wedding anniversary, aren't they? At yeah. Some point next year, just to attach them to a little card or a ribbon or something. I think that's lovely. Okay, here's a personal question for Joe. Joe, are you going to have a wedding anniversary? One day, maybe. One day, maybe. <laughs> That's nice to know. Adam, are you going to have a wedding anniversary one day? <laughs> okay, we'll move on. <laughs> Grin. Uh, right, check out these as well. Really, get both. Yeah, so I don't know about anyone else. I've heard 4th of July is the time that you can holiday again, which is really annoying because we had... Um, they marked a week in June. And so would Wayne. And I'm a bit bored of my own house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Staying in the UK. But can't. Mrs. Guess what this one's going to say? Mr. <laughs> You could mix and match them, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely could. Yeah, I really yeah. like these. Oh, I'm resting. I'm resting my hand. You have a rest it on the wrong nerve. Just having a little shake. Uh, so you're going to get one, two. Uh, I take it as ten charms. Yeah, five of each. Five of each. So again, you could do your missus and missus, mister and mister, mister and missus. It's ridiculous. You've got ten there. Six pounds. Oh, sorry. That one's back to front. <laughs> oh, 
I love that sound. Crash in! Got a file pens. <laughs> They're so cool. Oh, why has that gone that way? That's weird. Why, why is it that way? Because you've moved the camera, okay. Oh, I can see it doing something, that's cool. <laughs> it will be my 30th anniversary next week, Leanne. Oh, uh, wow. 30 years married. That's amazing. How is lockdown-itis going? Any pirate-related demos on today's show? Jackie and Angela have both been very cheeky about What's this. this about, then? What's this about? OK, so I just happened to go a bit giddy on the show and mm. realised that lockdown was really getting to me. And it was a case of I either really cry or really laugh, so we went with the laughter option. Right. And I just decided to use the bangle... Um, Holder, thingy me jiggly doodles. Um, what's the word? Mandrel. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And a telescope. <laughs> it worked uh, very well. And we had a close up <laughs> on my eyeball through uh, said mandrel. And that was that. So, Angela, uh, lockdownitis, how is it? I thought it was okay. And then I don't know if it's because I just need to eat. I've gone quite ratty about the whole situation. Yeah. Four pounds on these, folks. Wow. Well. Four pounds. Mark, what are you having for your lunch? I'm having tara masalata and wholemeal pitta and a cup of soup. I love wholemeal pitta and tara masalata. Mm. Love it. Yeah. Uh, they've gone to three pounds and they're solid 95 cents silver. Right, Wayne, please make sure. Sorry. Sorry, I've just moved that. Haven't I? Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Angela? <laughs> Angela? <laughs> This is for you. <laughs> and if anybody has just tuned in, this is Jewelry Maker. This is Lockdown Itis. And this is a bangle mandrel as a pirate telescope. These are three pounds. <laughs> there is a worldwide pandemic. Pen a pandemic. Brilliant. Can't actually talk. Oh, for goodness sake, it's taking them even lower. This is ridiculous. Right, for some reason, we've got any... This is not a base metal, you know. This is sterling silver. The sterling silver, you get five misses and five misters for two pounds. Anne, I just saw you double your order. Well done. Yeah. Folks, if you've just tuned in, we're doing the most ridiculous clearance on solid 925 sterling silver charms. Basically, I think Wayne has given up on everything and gone, oh, trashing that. <laughs> I love it. Love Wayne's mood for that. Yeah? Yes. Come on. Two pounds. Two pounds. I'm sorry about my... When's... Were you going to be away just, just before the 4th? No, we're, we're go I think we're going on the 4th. An That'd actual. Right. Yeah, I think it is the 4th we're going. It's the Saturday anyway, the first Saturday in July, whatever that is. What's the accommodation you'd be staying in? In a chalet. We're self-catering, you see, so we're not actually going to be having to see anybody. I have so. heard, so there's a big chain, um, very established chain of hotels, mm. um, aimed at the older generation. Yeah. And they are opening at half capacity on the 4th of July. Okay. So they'll take half capacity for the bedrooms and half capacity so it affects the restaurant and things. But will all, will all the walks and paths be open, do you think, in the Lake District? Because we don't want to go to the Lake District and everything's still closed. Yeah, because that should all be open for locals yeah. now. That's what we're hoping, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. But once Thank again, you. I don't work for Sage. No. Um, I don't have <laughs> anything in three. What is it, darling? Yeah, I've got it here. And how many should there be? Excuse me one moment. Ten pairs, that does not compute. Oh, no, it might do, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. So, two. Oh, hang on, this is all. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. 
One, two, three, four. Five, six, nice, seven, ah, oh, yes, they'd be gorgeous with the amber, nine, ten, wow. There, wow, 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 wow. You got yes. lever back in there as well, have you? Yeah. This is awesome. This is awesome. There we go. Oh, I've just painfully laid them all out, but you know, there they are. <laughs> so <laughs> you've got two pairs of the lever backs. Wow. But it's the lever backs with that little fleur de lis um, yeah. detailing on the front. You've got two pairs of these which I think are so elegant. And I've actually got some of these at home ready to go and I think I might just actually wear them like that and take that off. But you've got a little loop there. You've got two pairs of these, really pretty, because you can't really see them in that angle. Two pairs of those, pretty, and then you could set a stone in between. Two pairs of these, which are very evening glam, darling, for when you're doing your date night in your garden. <laughs> it's my friend's birthday yesterday. We had a party. Happens to be my next door neighbour. We chatted over the fence with a vino. And then two pairs of these. These are amazing. So that part's attached to the butterfly back, and that part's attached to the front. This with a chain. It's very clever design, isn't it? Really clever design. Wow. Now, for all of these, $34.95 for all of them. Wow, gosh. There's 10 grams of 925 selling silver there. I think that's fantastic value. You wouldn't be able to get that deal anywhere else for that price. Working out basically at £3.50 a pair. Per pair, that's really good. Per pair, it's quite satisfying to say. Per pair. <laughs> right, I think I need to eat. Uh, OTR F38. Prepare. You having a roast dinner this evening? Um, yeah, mm, of sorts. Mm. Oh, it's going to be quite hot. So I think we'll probably do Mediterranean roast vegetables, big mm -hmm. tray of, and roasted chicken. Oh. Wow. I need to I love garden. roasted veg. I do. Drew does mm. fantastic roast vegetables. Mm. Who's, the best, who's the better cook of the two of you? Drew. Mmm. Drew's very good at um, just getting <sighs> me. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> he has more time than I do. Mm, yeah. And uh, yeah. um, oh, Tanya, if it's okay, I've asked Mark a question about macrame on his Facebook page. But could you um, help me with that, please? Once you have time, Mark. Yes, I'll have a look. Thank you. Yes. Let me write. I'll just make a note. That's Tanya. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to use these for his and hers key rings. Ray, I think that would be fab. For the charms. Yes, that's yeah. a good idea. I like Mr. that idea. And I've just started a silver solder and I'm going to practice on these. Great idea. Mm. Great idea, Anne. Great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. Are they sold out? Oh, flipping heck. Both of my kids have all sold out. I've just had a check. Yes, they have. I oh. thought both of your kids had sold out. Like, you're selling your cats. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm delighted. I'm deaf today. I blame my hair fever. Right. Mr. and Mrs. Oh, Joe's got a wiggly bum. Having a little boogie. Oh, some more 95 cent silver earring findings, but these are the earring posts. They come with the corresponding butterfly back. Are you having a roast dinner, Mark? Is that why you're asking? No, 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 we're having pork pie salad. Oh, do you have a big blob of Branston pickle on the side? Oh, my Lord, yeah. But I have the fine, I've discovered fine cut. 
because I don't like the big chunks. No one's saying, will you have yeah, some so... of your pickled onions as well? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you're going to stay. And some, uh, and some Jersey Royals in butter and coriander. be lovely. Mm. Homegrown coriander. It's lovely. Go out and pick it from the greenhouse. Oh, they love the good life. <laughs> <laughs> will you be making it wearing a penny? <laughs> no. <laughs> That depends how our haircuts go this afternoon. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might not be, we might not be talking to each other by very the end of true. the afternoon. Very true. Very yeah. true. You might be on a pot noodle and a cup of soup. Yeah. Uh, v R R F nine two ten pairs. One pound fifty a pair. Solid nine two five for sterling silver. V R R F nine two. Right. In that case, can I please suggest we do number eleven? <gasps> number 14! Number 14! How many have we got? Oh, right, should we do them? Right. That was number 7. No, it wasn't. No, what's... Sorry, which one's that? The leather bags. Gold. I don't have them, darling. Yeah, the yellow gold. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do you know what? Might have to get these from a pirate look and just wear one. Or be really trendy and wear two. <laughs> these, do you know, these are perfect for the summer. Oh, if I put, how many have we got? Can I put them in then? Yes, that means I can keep them. <sighs> yeah, it does work like that. Because hygiene wines, we can't have you. No one else can use them. No. Oh, they're levered. Oh, that's brilliant. So that's the problem with quite a lot of hoops that you get. They're not levered, and then you end up faffing around. But they are levered, so you put them through the piercing, and you just pull it out slightly, and then it goes in. 9.95. Oh, I feel really summery with a maxi dress and a denim jacket. Do they? I've not worn hoops in years. Because I never take those pearl earrings out, do I? Mark, you're making my hubby jealous with your pork pie salad. <laughs> do you know? Mark, can I come to yours for dinner today, please, says Catherine in Yorkshire. Catherine, I think it probably goes across, away from the distance of way, how like, far you're allowed to travel. Oh, there's no limit on travel now, is there's there? There's no limit, no. We'll have to socially distance, but... Um, yeah, we're going to have that this evening. It was either that or, or homemade steak and kidney pie. So we've got... Because it's hot, we're going to go for the... Salad. So you wouldn't I... like spring onions then, would you? No. No. That's the no. best bit of a salad. Radish? You partial to a radish? Yeah, radish. Oh, no. do you know, I can tell you a little um, cool thing to do with radishes. Oh, put yeah. them Put them in a stew in the slow cooker. I haven't done them up, have I, after all that? No. Yeah, they're lovely. They work like, um, you get the same sort of effect that you would with a shallot. Okay, sounds good. But you don't I'll have to eat onion. That. Yeah, radishes. Radishes and your slow cooker in a stew. Um, okay. Oh, I love these. This is one of my favourite cuts of stones we've ever done. Let me put these in before they, uh, before I lose my honeymoon pearls. Right, are you ready? This is ridiculous. Oh, I love these. And they're the gemstone of friendship. They're beautiful. They're rose quartz, folks. Rose quartz. Look at those. Oh my word, at the price that we're doing them for, I think about putting mo little charms, little um, mobiles in charm form underneath my tree. I've got a beautiful magnolia tree in my garden. We have lots of little lanterns and things hanging from it. £5.78. That's amazing. Wow. That's amazing. £5.78. £260. carats. That's amazing. Check out your baskets. Love those. Which one are we going to next? Nineteen. Okay. These are fab. There's a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, don't worry. We know you're there. Who's on the show this afternoon? Is it Vicky? Yeah, it is, isn't it? 
BGX C23. And we believe there's a beatbox on this afternoon show as well. It'll be ba 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 da box, ba 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 da box, beat ba 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 da box. I can't believe that came back to me after all these years. That's what I used to sing. <laughs> you did, yeah. Yeah. I'm so predictable. Bum, bum, bum. Is it Katie Reid? Oh, she is just such a ooh, lover. She is. She's amazing. She's Katie Reid always looks like she's just stepped off a photo shoot. She's the most stylish person. She's so always on trend. Uh, <laughs> um, I wasn't really going to smack her. Um, has the sun just gone in? It has here. It's very I'm not saying in a paddling pool if it's not sunny. Quite cloudy here. Oh well, at least I might paint my chest of drawers this afternoon then. I'll have to justify to my children why I'm not going to sit in a paddling pool. Because I'm not doing it in a cloudy environment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, folks, this is the gemstone that I am wearing on my wrist. Okay? So this is the gemstone that on the show the other day with Claire MacDonald, I decided this is the stone we all needed to own in lockdown. Because it's the one that in terms of crystal healing, if that's something you believe in, once again, as a disclaimer, we can't guarantee it to be the case. But rhodochrosite apparently has the ability to really get rid of any negative energy and heal you. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to trash the price. Okay, this is going to be amazing. Fourteen ninety five. Fourteen ninety five. That's a crazy pieces. price for one. Pardon? That's a crazy price for one strand. Yeah. Wow. X S X. C, one, four. Wayne and Adam are in big trouble. They're taking the mickey out of me. You are. You are. These are amazing. Um, and I was saying as well that because of what it has, in terms of having it as a, a gemstone in your home, it might be quite nice to have these almost like in a box frame environment as well. And maybe if you've just got a quiet place that you can go to and just... B. This would be a fantastic stone to have around for its energies. XSXC14. Well done, everybody. They're awesome. Well done, Jane. Julie and Lynn, check out there. Oh, by the way, if you're to buy just one of them, it's 19.95. Or buy two for 14.95. Oh, my two for twelve ninety five because Wayne's taking them even lower. Oh, he's in one of those zones, isn't he? <laughs> I like it. Twelve ninety five. Oh, the sun's coming out again, Wayne. Do you know what? I, as much as I want the sun to come out, if the sun's out, I'm gonna have to sit in this paddling pool. <sighs> Did anyone try the paddling pool trick that I told you about yesterday? We're trashing the price again. Eleven ninety five on these. Eleven ninety five. You can buy one strand for nineteen ninety five, or two strands for eleven ninety five. You see, I should maybe just get my wetsuit out. Sit in my wetsuit. I told you I've got a wetsuit so I can go on the beach. I get cold really easily. I don't go and see. I just like keep warm on the beach. So I wear a wetsuit. Makes me look cool. Keeps me warm. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I don't have to fake tan. Ten pounds and ninety-five pence for both shans. This is actually ludicrous now. This is silly. Silly. Silly price. Ah, oh, does that take you back, Wayne? Silly. 
Silly price. No? Okay. Do I remember producer Martin? Yeah. S, X, S, X, C, 1, 4. Well done, everybody. Oh, needless to say, they're now flying out because they're 1095. 1095, 1095. How much are they choir? They're 1095. I love the fact that everyone sings when I say choir. That's so amazing. <laughs> oh, dear. Ten pounds and ninety-five pence. Well done, everyone. Loving these. What are you doing for your afternoon, Mark? Preparing your pork pie and cutting your hair. Yeah, that's probably the day gone. We've got Gardener's World from Friday while we have our lunch. Um, yeah. We having a few lunch. Pita bread and, for our and wholemeal yeah. pita. Yeah, and a cup of soup. And a cup of soup. What mm. would you? Um, will you be toasting your pita? Yes, but only for 30 seconds till they puff up because they get very hot. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like taramasalata and hummus at the same time? I've not had them together. I no. get really bored with hummus. I never get bored of taramasalata. No, I'm telling you, you need to mix it with taramasalata. Together. Okay. That's Andrew had that. We had, we had um, fajitas last night. And Andrew had that horrible green stuff. Guacamole. Oh. Guacamole, guacamole. Mm. Can't be doing with that. stuff. Hilarious. Um, this is lovely. Eighteen ninety-five. I love this. I can't even tell you how many times I bought this. Put it on a piece of feed. Where did Wayne find that? Well, there's only Not a seen few these left. on screen for ages. Oh really? It was back in stock about two weeks ago. Oh, brilliant. Hmm? Was it? It was me and, me and Wayne that relaunched it. <laughs> There's been a lot of shows. There's been a lot of Wayne. I'm doing the morning show next Sunday, and it's the first, first show with producer Tom since lockdown started on March the 23rd. Oh, never mind, eh? <laughs> I've got to work with him on Tuesday. Have it. <laughs> we'll get through. Eight ninety-five on that. That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. QXGP01. What a lovely morning. Oh, Liz, thank you, darling. Thanks, team, for keeping me company while I sorted my plastic bag stash. Oh, the high life. Liz, I did that the other day, and do you know what? It's a good job I did, because we keep our plastic bags in the same as the boiler cupboard. So there's the boiler, and down inside the boiler, we keep plastic bag stash. Oh, well, this is underneath the bathroom. Good job I went to do that, because the plastic bags were very damp and drippy. I had a leak coming down from the bathroom. We didn't know about it. Oh no. I know, thank goodness. Lucy, Alison, you will never guess what I dug up out of my garden this week. It's a very what? big what? Uh, 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 a very big. <laughs> I said, I nearly said a walk, but a walk, no. It's a very big rock with Drozy in three places. I'll make a wire tree. Alison! That's very exciting. I need to see a picture. Uh, Mary, uh, hi Lucy, Mark and crew. Lovely to see you all. The slabs will be lovely as our oh, chiming hanger. Gorgeous. Yeah, they'll be lovely. Picture please. Hi, my grandchildren, 11 and 8, are coming over today with my son. <gasps> Haven't seen them for 11 weeks. Oh. Still going to be hard not to have a hug. Right, Anne, I've seen this thing. <laughs> and it's the shower curtain with gloves. So you stand behind a clear shower curtain, you put your hands in these gloves, and then you can have a hug. Oh, 11 weeks. What did you say, sorry? I don't even want to know how his mind's working. I think that's the problem. It's not working, is it? Number 11. Oh, oh, how many have we got of these? I want this.
Now, um, the deal, the price on screen would be amazing for one of these 95 sterling silver green howlite necklaces. Yeah? Anywhere else, 65.85 for one fab. You see what it says at the top of those graphics, Mark? Three. Three You're necklaces. Going to triple trouble. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. You're going to get three of these. Now, whether you decide to use them as they are, chop them up, turn them into bracelets, wear two at a time, give three separate gifts, sell them all separately, keep a couple of them, chop just one up, keep one for yourself, give one as a gift, sell another one. It's up to you. Wow. How about 24.95 for all three? 24.95 for three, 24.95 for three. How much are they, Joe? 24.95 for three. Amazing. Hazel, you're going to get them. Check out your basket, my lovely Tatiana and Sabine. Needless to say, this is amazing value for money. You'll get three of these gorgeous necklaces for 24.95. How much would you sell one of those for, Mark? Well, but that's the silver, isn't it? Yeah, 45, 50 pound. Each. Mm, each, yeah. It's a nice profit, isn't it? Been watching while doing spring clean at the larder. One thing there, older than my 16-year-old. <laughs> Alison, I don't think you'll be the only one to have discovered things like that during lockdown. Mark, I bet that doesn't happen in your larder, does it? <laughs> So I've always wanted a walk-in larder. My I've nanny's having in her old house and I'd love that. I like, Nigella's got a really nice um, walk-in larder. and something like hers. Pardon? Nigella Lawson has got a very nice walk-in larder. I'd like yeah, it to be like she's hers. she's also a multi-millionaire. Um, <laughs> put with Mark's second kit. Yeah, Jennifer, this is gorgeous with Mark's second kit. Let's get those. Oh, yes. But I bet you don't have anything that's out of date in your cupboards, do you, Mark? Mm. No. No. But you know what? Some things are all right to be 16 years out of date. Oh, yeah. P.S. How did, um, did, however, take a break from the larder for those stunning rhodochrosites? Alison, pleased to know. Uh, what was it that was more than 16 years old? I need to know. Because I, ta I had a good sort out the other week of my herbs and spices. And herbs and spices just send, you know, you buy them for one dish and they sit in the cupboard then unused, don't they? Mm. Mm, mm. But I've been very good and I've scrubbed the jars and I'm using jars for lots. Of, I'm really into recycling and refillables now. It's the way to go. It's absolutely the way to go. Uh, 24.95 for three of those. There's loads of people with these in their baskets. You're going to get three for that price. You will be gutted. Can you imagine? If you go off and have your tarama salata and your home meal pizza bread and your cup of soup and you come back and these are gone. What cup of your soup are you having, Mark? Um, red pepper and tomato. Oh, you see, red pepper and tomato cup of soups reminds me of soup that you get in vending machines. You know, the ones that you used to get in like, carpet like shops that really burn your tongue. That's what I like. Francis, it. my husband does the shopping and unpacks by flinging things into the cupboard. Oh. When I had a sort out, there were some very out-of-date items. You see, I can't do that. No. No. I'd like to know what I've got. I've had to have the sort out, though, the baking cupboard. Yes, I have a bake... Not the bacon. Baking. The bacon cupboard. No, not smoking bacon. Uh, which one? Oh, these are pretty. These are really pretty. Now, as much as they are connectors, as I always say with these, you can actually chop one of the loops off, file it down even just with a nail file, and then you've actually got yourself a pendant. Oh, they're lovely. My journey home's only 25 minutes. You think it'd be weird if I made myself a cup of tea for the journey? I have to do that. THXC89. So these are solid 925 stone silver with a nine carat rose gold plate and tons of cubic zirconia packed in there. And you're going to get two packs of three, giving you six for 995. 995. How much is it, choir? It's 995. I think we should get a microphone for the gallery. 
That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it gets all sacked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would get you sat crushing again, but he's doing it anyway. Six ninety five on this mark. Hello. We're gonna say goodbye to you now, my darling, because we're gonna oh. go to your demo. Yes. So are you back on the show? And all the team say thank you, by the way. Pleasure, absolute pleasure. Um, so That's enjoy all. your lunch, enjoy your tea. You. I expect to pick of your haircut. Oh, yes. Have a look then at the psychologist and see if there's yes, anything. Yes, I'll do that. Good I'll luck do. with the holiday situation. Are you on screen before next Sunday with Tom or is that the first time back? That's the first time back. And I'm launching brand new symbols alongside Chevron check glass beads. Sounds horrific. I mean, awful. <laughs> I'm not going to tune in at all. It's amazing, amazing. Yeah. Most of love to you, darling. Yeah. Nice to see you. Bye. Yeah, you too, hon. Stay safe, Bye. stay Bye. safe. Ah, oh, thank you so much to Mark, who's been with us for the full five hours, which has been amazing. We've still got a few of these remaining at £6.95 for, for six, which is awesome. Um, so we're going to go to Mark's demo. Thank you so much for watching today. Thank you to the fabulous team. I'll be back with you on Tuesday morning. But this afternoon, you've got a cracking show. Vicky's with you. Producer Liam is in the hot seat. And I'm telling you now, he's going to do some severe price trashing. The word on the street is... There is, in fact, a bee box later today, so don't go anywhere. In fact, grab yourself a quick cup of tea, watch this demo, and stay tuned for the afternoon. Bye! Hello everyone, it's Mark here. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you one of my favourite wire macrame techniques. It's a take on the herringbone weave, but I've nicknamed it the corset weave. And I think as you look at it, you can probably see why I've called it that. All the interlocking lace work that's surrounding these beads are very reminiscent of a corset, the back of a, of a corset to me. So um, I started doing this technique about five or six years ago, and it's a name that I came up with that's just stuck. So um, so <laughs> just to humour me a little bit, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep... Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our project page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello jewellery makers, Eleanor Stevens here, one of your long-standing presenters. Now um, I've got some exciting news with all the craziness that has been going on. I've been off your screens for quite some time and I've missed... And I think as you look at it you can probably see why I've called it that. All the interlocking lace work that's surrounding these beads have a very reminiscent of a corset the back of a, of a corset to me so um i started doing this technique about five or six years ago and it's a name that i came up with that's just stuck so um so <laughs> just to 